be ready in your life. Probably because of the whole box. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Alrighty. Hi, hey, but I to all our Swedish viewers out there. I don't know. Mm. Sorry for the Good delay. Um, that's really all I have. Sorry for the delay. But we're here. Hello. It's Sunday. It's Dungeon Select Day. Welcome to it. I'm excited. It's going to be a good one. Um, hope you guys all had a great week. It's the weekend. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Sunday! Uh, ended off with uh, with some nerdy D&D shenanigans, as we, as we always do. Um, yeah, we started off a little late, but we're here. And uh, I'm excited. Any I'm announcements? So oh, wait, I, I, before we do anything else... The YouTube hit 100 subs, which is awesome. Yes! Thank you so much for subscribing Woo! to the YouTube. Woo -woo! Uh, if you have not okay. done that yet, bam. Sub to the YouTube. All the sessions get uploaded there. There's some other content over there as well. Anything we do here is up there. And then some. Um, so check that Good out. We'd greatly appreciate it. Keeping that going. Bell is uh, still taking great care of that side of things, which is awesome. And we appreciate that shit. I'm still catching up. Because my hard drive, I still don't have it yet, so. No biggie, no biggie. It's all good. Um, if you're like, man, wish I could get into Dungeon Select, but pff, watching those VODs is dedication. But I drive a lot, or I go to the gym a lot. Listen to us on Spotify or any other podcast platform. Uh, you know, check us out over there. Uh, you can do that. While you cook dinner, while, while you, you clean your house, while you do anything. Exactly. <clears throat> while you make love. Well, Maybe not that. That I don't recommend. Just weird. in the middle, in the middle of like getting it on, <laughs> like you're you're about to hit the final moment, and you just hear in the background, "I've had enough of this." <laughs> I'm not doing this. I'm not. We're, 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 we're not doing this. Hold on, babe. I've got to put the playlist on, and it's just like, <laughs> "Welcome to Dungeon that's Select." <laughs> Hi. I feel like that's only one step removed from being in the middle of sex and being like the fitness grand pacer test. <laughs> I mean, if anything will, you know, give you a good rhythm, it's the fitness grand pacer yeah, test. So, so, so. <laughs> that is or Davi and shouting at cats. Oh, uh, speaking of and, and catching, oh, I'm gonna make a shit tea. Yeah. Speaking yes. of catching up though on D on Dungeon Select, because we talked about <laughs> yes. during Dungeon Discourse toying with the idea of maybe recording. Just like either audio or short recap videos, one per episode, rotating cast members. I thought of one potential flaw with this problem. Which is? If there's an episode where multiple people had to death in, there's multiple secrets, who do you get to talk about what happened? Because if it's only one person, like say the episode where Belle had whatever talk in that vessel that we don't well, know about, obviously she should narrate talk, that catch up. talk about the stuff that happened that everyone could hear in the recaps. But the audience yeah. gets to hear everything. If it's a recap for the audience. That's true. I mean, No, you can, you can say that like, had a secret conversation and then don't and then time indulge stopping. or you just sort of like I guess, yeah. or you, you, just just or you have the dm just do that bit yeah yeah but uh, oh yeah, yeah. That's something that we toyed about toyed with and um something that i think that i want to see if we can do is um i've had ideas upload <laughs> oh, recap God. videos to youtube of like bad, five, anywhere of between five and ten minutes to just like recap the the session so that people that don't have a lot of time uh, can still catch up by watching those videos instead of committing yeah. to watching four hour vods uh, one at a time something that uh that, that the idea has been in my head for a while and i think that's something that i want to do we just have to work out the, the technicalities and who does what and when and when it goes up and all this stuff but uh, more on that soon yeah we could get a third party to do it but yeah we could Spoons. it's because it's a lot of work right like if it any of us were to do it you would still have to basically scrub through the episodes to sum them up mm -hmm. Well, yeah, or if, so, if, depending on your notes, you could just go through your notes and turn into well, a I few could, paragraphs. Like, I have all script. the fucking sessions, like, written True. down already, so I can just send you a recap based on that, and the person who is mm. right. week just I love But you again, you're, you're, privy, you're still privy to more than we are. I love yeah, you all. I don't I have the brain all capacity all for this shit. Set to do that episode. Well, what, what I'm suggesting, basically, is, like, you could probably find someone on Fiverr and just be like, can you... Same, same with, like, transcribing stuff. Can you just, <laughs> like... <laughs> Transcribe a quick summary of this, and then turn that into a script for one of us or something. Uh, yeah, but like we'll we'll work on on the the idea is there. We'll just, we'll just work on how we're actually going to do it. But I think that's something yeah, that we're going to we'll be doing. Do it at some yeah. in future, I mean, but... I I take enough notes. I'd be happy to try and turn them into like a few blurbs, and then send them to Dutch for proofreading, so Dutch could add if there's anything I forgot because I didn't find it like enough of a priority or something. But anyways, yeah, um, yeah. we'll work it out off stream. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll exactly work it out of stream. I want to play D and D. Um, you don't care what you want. No. <laughs> exactly. Anyone else have any announcements that they want to yes. want to want to do before we uh, get going, Laura? Yeah. Uh, it meant to be released at noon today, but this is why 24 hour clocks are better. I accidentally released my YouTube video at midnight instead of noon. But new <laughs> YouTube video is out and uh, some Valorant highlights, shenanigans, and Dutch have features heavily in it because we had a good time playing Valorant on Monday. That's so I'm that guy. If, you want, if you want to laugh at some silliness, go check it out because I think it's pretty funny. Ethan, can you do me a favor? Did you like zoom out your camera just a tad? No. Uh fucking Discord zooms it in. Oh. Weird. I feel like it's close to your face than it normally is, but okay. Yeah. Yeah, your face just fits in yeah. the frame with your with oh, the name tag. Forward, though, I think. <laughs> um but okay. Cool. Yeah. Watch the video. It's great. Oh I'm Duke has an announcement. I have an announcement. Oh, I'm not even in my chair, but I need my dice, but they're <laughs> far away. Um <clears throat> So uh I'm planning to go to Florida in March. So, wait I a minute, in I, March? Yeah. Yo, there's a chance I'm in Florida in March to go Yo! visit my mom for my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll be in the fucking panhandle, so. Uh, I don't know where that is. Way west, like north of West Florida, the tiny like, little. Oh, sliver. okay. Like, I'm, I'm like south Florida, mm. so never mind. Yeah, no, we'll be Damn. literally like 12 hours apart. Um, <laughs> anyway, so. I might miss some episodes, but I think I might not miss some episodes. Oh, are you That's... playing D&D from there? I may play D&D from Ooh. Piper's room. Nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Obviously, if you can, it's like, we, we get it, and that's yeah. fine. But uh, and I, and I'll, obviously, I'll let normal. you know in advance, yeah. but I do think get... it'll be okay. Do we get to have Piper coming in like Koba's dad? Like, my idea is better. <laughs> Piper, Piper cameo. <laughs> God, I think I'll probably be in the background, most likely. Who fucking knows? Just every but time I you get a I, I don't know. One, you just see them, like, laughing at you in the background that'd be so funny <laughs> ten out i want ten. that to happen now well <laughs> i'll be rolling on their dice so if i roll the natural one it's their fault so. fair enough fair enough all right cool yeah just uh keeps in the loop on that mm. really so, uh, yeah um let me think i had something that i wanted to bring up um because of something that we spoke of on discourse but i cannot remember it now so it must have not been that important no. um yeah at all. I saw no, you guys this could fail. Be the last time you guys see this wall. Koba's moving. Ooh. Maybe. Oh, Koba's moving. It's still, still got a like a hundred percent like get paperwork fucking sword because it's been a fucking nightmare. Yup. Just fucking trying to get shit sorted, and they're like, "We need to prove that you have a job." I'm like, "Okay, here's my proof," and they're like, "Your job apparently tells you tells us that you get paid." Fuck all. I'm like, "No." <laughs> Time to it's fucking not zero hour or anything, is it? Yeah. Um, huh. Is, is it like zero hour or something? No, it's just like based on my like tax that I had, I paid oh, right. and like earnings from that job, but it's not accounted for this year because this year hasn't ended like tax wise. Mm -hmm. So, like, based on my last year, it's like you only earned three grand. You obviously in a year get paid 3,000. I'm like, no, that was like two months <laughs> of like pay. And they're like, no, that's what you get paid. So, I'm having to start guarantors and shit. And it's a fucking pain in the ass. But yeah, in theory, your parents should be guaranteed, right? Time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's like it's fine, just fucking the being annoying. Just time consuming. It's just yeah. it's just a like, extra paperwork. Extra yeah. paperwork. And also extra the shit that you yeah. shouldn't have had to do in the first place because all your it, shit is correct. So yeah. Yes. Yeah. But so in theory, but it might be the week after. I don't know anymore because yeah. it's just how it goes. But yeah, this could be the last time y'all see this wall for there's a long the time. There's potential for no quiver next week because of that. Yes. Right? I mean, I'll try Hooray. my best to come in because there's a fuck you. Because uh, <laughs> I'll just like. Fuck it, worth would just be on my shitty phone. Like, hi guys. We'll just <laughs> end this. We'll just end this session with a fade to black with a Lazarin and Siren having <laughs> like a perfect end to their date, and then they're just like locked in a room together for like two days because they're having that good of a time. And then <laughs> no Lazarin for two. It's days. a long play, and she stabs him in his sleep, and then he has <laughs> however long he wants off and brings a new character. True. <laughs> has you checked Siren for tattoos? Didn't Siren do come in the bath with us? Like, didn't we go to a bath? Yeah, did anyone think like... to check her I've for also, I've also, I've also, I've also, I've also, I've also, I've also, did we look at her and think about it? I mean, I've also, it would stand out if she was in yeah. naked mode, dude. Yeah. <laughs> she <laughs> might get, she might, she might, she might not have previously, but I she might that. now do being in a fucking <laughs> <laughs> She's been inducted. Um, last session, you lots traveled 
uh, the last leg of your trip back from Streatham to Eldilon, uh, encountered some gnolls on the road and followed them to a den they made in the hill. Um, these gnolls, worshippers of Yinogu, the uh, demonic being that is obsessed with uh, with feeding and eating and just it's just just a just a gluttonous beast, really. Um, took quick care of them, collected the eds. Uh, on the off chance that maybe somewhere in Eldelon there's someone that uh, might pay you for a job well done, which you heard uh, there was. There is a, a half work man that posted a bounty a little while ago. Uh, Jast Ironjaw, who uh, posted a bounty a few weeks ago. Nobody really picked it up, or the city did pick up or take care of some gnolls, but apparently they missed some. Uh, but you took care of that. Um. Then, you guys went to the Friendly Giants um, to prepare for some uh, some relaxation and uh, discuss your your next steps for the next few days that you're in um, <clears throat> you're in Eldalon. Brooks then got approached by the same man he clocked in a bar fight that he instigated uh, at the Money Boat uh, before y'all left to street them. And... Um, got invited, and by extension, you all got invited to an underground fight night named the Scrapyard on a ship called the Porcupine that is now docked in the harbor of Eldilon. Um, otherwise, you guys are still in the Friendly Giant. It's about the you know middle of the afternoon. You have some time to just relax and discuss your plans. Uh, Rianel and Pleasure are both uh, joined you at, uh, are both joined at your table. Just kind of hanging out, talking, Taking care of you. What do you want to do? Alright, well. Let's get some more drinks in. I will go as good as bad as never. I will order some more drinks. More drinks? Oh, what What time did you say it was? It's about like middle of the afternoon. It's so like 2 3 p.m. Middle of the afternoon. Got like, what, like five, four or five hours to kill before mm -hmm. this fight? You got fight? told that uh, it would start at eight. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah cool. It's now, say, let's say it's three, you'll have five hours until the event starts. Um, I'm going yeah. to uh, slowly stand up and excuse myself. Um, Since we're, you know, hoping to move on in the next couple of days, I should probably get started on a search for anything regarding uh, is, is Stisha and this lake, so I'm gonna go brush through some libraries and see what I can find. Do you need a hand? I could do with some... Yeah, I would appreciate the help. Oh, I'll, I'll come. I'll come join you. If you find anything about Dashu, let me know. Wait, about who? <laughs> I asked you last time, but I think you might have forgotten. It was a while ago. Um, if you could look up an elemental, well, a djinn right. called Dashu, I'd be right. very grateful. Okay. Uh, who's left around the table? Uh, Brooks went up to get drinks. Uh, Elasner is joining you, so that leaves Daigon, Jax, and uh, yes. I will um, just sort of uh, corral Onu over to uh, to Kess and <laughs> just be like, I uh, probably should be dragging him around library, so if you don't mind just taking care of him. Yeah, and, of course. Uh, I shall head out with, uh, with Elasner. Onu oh, kind of like, sits next to is, you and is kind is of like. Tisha? Is that the name? Is Tisha. Is Tisha. Okay. Onu oh, will kind of like, mm. kind of like poke you with with his beak, uh, Kes. Give his like head scratches. It ruffles his feathers. All right, so Brooks, you you you'd catch like the half, the last the latter half of that conversation as you come back with drinks and you notice that. Um, okay. Well, I've already bought some drinks and they're fucking off, so that's fine. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna order. more for you. You don't okay, need more for round as two. I, as I as I see that, I'm like just have my drink, Brooks. That's fine. Okay, uh, I'll pass you yours. Uh, I have got. <laughs> okay, that's the same. Uh, you just down my drink. Just that. I'm just like, you have mine. You just <laughs> no, no, no. I'll but give you said, yours. He said it's Brooks, the fact that you're downing he said, it. Brooks, you have mine. He does, yeah, he oh, said okay. have. Oh, yeah, have his. Drink. Oh, that's fine then. Yeah. Okay, I'm going deaf. Uh, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna come over to the table because I ordered drinks for eight of us. I'm. Um, I'm gonna bring over a lover's kiss, a silver tooth, green death, 
a rusty cutlass, a fey flower, a hellhound, a shot of fire beard, and a wide eye. Oh wait, isn't uh, Jax like okay? really, really drunk? He would already put him to bed. He's upstairs. Right. He's, he's upstairs. He's not so even Jack's here. Jax is even there. Jax is in bed. Then I uh, wouldn't have got the shot of whiskey. Okay. So uh, about that. I'll get a lover's kiss, which is what I got for a labyrinth, which is a labyrinth, a Lazarin, uh, which is <laughs> to get him uh, in the mood sparkling for white wine. And, and un you joke, but it's like uh, <laughs> it's one of those drinks that if you drink enough, you know that people think it's potentially like a. Placebo, placebo aphrodisiac. Yeah, um, yeah. It's white wine and rose liqueur, so if anyone wants that, you're welcome to grab it. Um, I've got a silver tooth, which is, uh, it's like a strong brandy uh, made with like grapes and olives and shit like that. Uh, I got a green death, which is ale with absinthe in it. Uh, yeah, that's for Brooks. Uh, I got a rusty way. cutlass, which is, um, it's uh, whiskey... Honey and uh, snowdrift, which is a uh, like a spice liqueur. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a. I'll, uh, I'll take that one. That one's called okay. what? The rusty cutlass. It's called a rusty cutlass. Sounds like okay. a euphemism for VD. A sailor's <laughs> oh, um, you, don't, you don't want to go with him, Arthur. He's got a rusty cutlass. For fuck's sake! <laughs> uh, I got a, I got a fey flower, which Kess has had before. Um, it's uh, it's like a dry white wine with like a sugared flower in the top uh, i got a down. hellhound which is just a very dark caramel cider and wide eye is uh it's vodka with uh sugar or simple syrup and then coffee liqueur essentially it, it's okay so i have to help yourselves um i assume the other two will help themselves as well dutch yeah absolutely they'll uh how much fucking money do i owe well, they said they would take care of the tab. Oh, sure. Or Siren took care of the tab, rather, I think. Yeah. I, I'll leave I'll leave a couple gold on the bar, because I know that I'm buying, like, high price shit, and I don't know how rich Siren is. And we'll likely be getting the middle of the night. Yeah. Or at least till the evening. I don't know how much Siren has paid, and I know that some of that shit's expensive. Yeah. Very good. Um, so Siren, guys, Siren comes continue. back to pay the tab, and she's like offering them like chicken sake. heads and <laughs> <laughs> like so, oh, um, snake skin. You guys just continue sitting at the friendly giant, having some drinks. In the meantime, Lazarin and Davian, where are you headed? The library, the the biggest, or nicest bookstore. one yeah. that there is. Or well, bookstore. you've you've been to the Snapped Quill before, owned yeah. by yes. the halfling with the frizzy hair and the glasses, who, who you've also yeah. met. Um, so is that your first stop? Uh, yes. Okay, so you make your way up to the Trade District. Quickly. I already forgot the name of that gin. Dashu. Dashu, I just fucking impaled my arm on my dice tower, dude. Nice. Good job. Hell yeah, okay. Huh? Quickly whip out the document I had for this exact situation. Yo, is this going to be a fucking... Can't t can't buy these books situation again because if so I'm gonna I'm gonna steal oh, the book. Oh, what, what was the lake called again? Lake Udina. Udina. Is this the one trait that's like constant across all your characters? They steal books. <laughs> yeah. You uh you open up the door, you enter the snapped quill, and you've been there before, and you see Orvo, the uh, the halfling, uh, behind his desk, and he as the door opens, there's like this little bell up top that just go ding 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 when you uh, when you enter. <coughs> oh, was over with the same halfling that helped us with the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. Looks up and uh, kind of waves. Good afternoon. Afternoon, Orvo. How are you? Doing all right. Doing all right. Uh, what can I do you for? Uh, it seems our ventures might take us to Lake Udina, so I'm I'm looking to do a That's bit of it. reading. A bit of reading about the lake and about the people, or the yeah, the people who live there, the Triton, and also. Ishtisha and right. hopefully by proxy Dashu as well. It's another elemental. Um, Might be a bit more obscure. Got a couple of books that I think will have not all, but some of the information you're probably looking for. Um, are you looking to buy the books or are you looking to read them here? Um, Probably read them here for a little bit and if they right, have yes. information that, are, that we need, we'll probably buy them. 
Yeah, right, is that allowed? Well, uh, to buy uh, the books, um, there's one book called uh, History of Kel Keldar, which is uh, has a chapter dedicated to Lake Udino in particular. Oh, sh hang on. Oh. Sorry to sorry to interrupt, hang but. On. Wait. Waiting. Do you have anything by Sir Oliver? I do actually. It's called The Triton of the Lake, which uh, was my second Beautiful. suggestion. Right, perfect. Um, Sorry. So I've got The Triton of the Lake, which which describes uh, the, the, the travels of, of this Sir Oliver, uh, a knight hailing from the Goodwin Kingdom, who retired and took it upon himself to travel to Agrind and start writing about his journeys. Um, he wrote his experiences with the Triton of the Lake and, and the things he learned in, in that book. Um, the other book I mentioned, The History, History of Keldar, has a chapter dedicated to Lake Udina. Um, it's written by uh, Quirky, who is an Arakokra, who also happens to own the uh, Cartography guild, uh, guild in this uh, city, uh, Compass Points. He's, uh, he was among the first to, to really map the province, and in, in doing that, has, has met a lot of different tribes and communities and uh, wrote, wrote some stuff about uh, Kaldar as a whole, but there's definitely some stuff about Lake Udina there as well. Right. Um, if you want to read the books here, it's a two silver fee, but if you want to buy the books, we'll talk about the pros after. Yes, then that's fine, and I'll, I'll, if, I'll handle it. Well, I'll, hold on, Elezrin. If we do decide to buy them, does that two silver act as a deposit of sorts so it'll be taken off the final price? Sure, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I'll, I'll handle it. Fucking four silver for us to read books. Thank you very much. And he grabs two books. He grabs the history of Keldar, and this has like this... this Leather, uh, like, um, binding, um, and on, like, the front, the cover of the book, there's just this, like, kind of like a, a very decorated map of Keldar with some points of interest kind of, like, on it. Um, so this is the history of Keldar, and then the book, The Triton of the Lake, uh, it's a pretty plain cover, um, but it, it does have the title on it, uh, kind of like, like in like a very mm, fancy. I don't know if that's the right word, but like a very mm -hmm. high quality calligraphy uh, mm. to title the book, and then also the name of the author, Sir Oliver, uh, at the bottom. And he hands you both books. Right, thank you kindly. I think, well, anything, anything more specific on just elementals. Um, elemental lords, elemental last no time. Didn't you come in here the other, uh, the, a little while ago asking yeah, about? Yeah, I don't think I did. I buy it? Fucking, if I did, I, I think you did. I think you did. About Kusuth, right? Was it? I think. You did yes, buy it. and I did find something about Rusmu the Fair as well. Mm-hmm. Well, in that case, if that's. You know, if that's your only your only one, I'll probably, I'll um, probably put it in my bag somewhere. The only non-fiction one that actually has information about the elemental planes and um, actually names individuals that that are significance. There's not many books that really go that deep because well, not a lot of people have experience with those types. At this rate, I'll be the first to write one. Well, could be. Thanks for your help, and uh, we'll let you know if we need anything, and I'll. Uh, Find a no place problem. to sit down. No, I'll sit down next yeah, to like a, little, uh, a couple of tables by the window uh, with some seats around it where you can sit down, have a read. I will pass a Lazarin the History of Keldar because yeah, so, I, uh, I, uh, I do want to read Sir Oliver's. I say, a Lazarin probably offered to take the history on anyway. So he'd be like, yeah, <laughs> give me the part, <laughs> give me the other one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. And I'll start um, leafing through the Triton of the Lake. Yeah. And I'll start leafing through to that chapter about the okay. lake itself. Um, while Davian starts reading the Triton of the Lake and kind of like brushes through it, um, you specifically look for the chapter on Lake Udina in the book mm -hmm. The History of Kaldar, a mm -hmm. yeah. Um And you find some basic information about the lake, how uh, it is currently... Uh, inhabited by Triton, serving the elemental lord of water named Astitia, um, mm -hmm. and it houses how it houses a dormant volcano deep within mm -hmm. the water that was once called the Seat of Flame. Mm -hmm. uh, you also read that the lake um, houses a variety of dangerous 
beings and the Triton kind of serve as a one side they protect the lake from any outsiders but it also protects the realm or the the, the province from creatures that live deep within the lake that you know sometimes try to get out and get mm -hmm. on land if they're able to um so it's kind of like it's 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 a double double-edged sword in that sense where they are very protective of what lies within the lake and the lake itself but they're also making sure that nothing gets the less out. the more nefarious things that live within the lake do not get out And then it just describes, you know, like, its overall history, how there once was this volcano called the Seat of Flame, and as time progressed, and, 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 and we're talking about, like, many, 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 many centuries, you know, yeah. as, as a land constantly kind of shaped and, uh, and formed, suddenly this just, like, body of water came from the ground and just started to rise and, and the f made the ground just kind of sink deeper and deeper and deeper, just eventually just eating the volcano almost in a way um does it give like a little not like map of the air almost but you know what i mean does it give like an outline of roughly um, like where everything is or anything like that details no it's just general description rather than like it does not too knowing details. that it was written by uh the the person the that also i know i could owns probably the photography guild you probably could you know you could probably get a map there yeah Okay, that's cool. Right. Um, Davian? Aye. You're reading through the Triton of the Lake, and it is clear to you that this is a very um, informal way of writing. It's, it's, it's very much just like a collection of, of journal pages and, and thoughts and, and um, experiences that this, this, this Sir Oliver uh, went through on his travels, and he just kind of, without real logic or or um format he just chucked in there because it, it becomes very clear that this man was not a professional writer mm -hmm. but he tried his best um <laughs> it will tell you when you kind of brush through that the triton live in a community similar to a lot of druidic tribes uh, living with nature living off what the wild gives them uh but that they also built up some relationships with nearby tribes if you want tea uh, and, and kind of set up uh, an understanding between the two communities. There's one passage that will say, The Triton of the Lake are a noble race, defenders of their territory, o territory only aggressive when pushed to their limits. Um, and it will mention that the community is being led by a man named Kuzus Nudelmath. So, C-U-Z-U-S. Noodle math, so N U D O L N A T H. Noodle math. Okay. <clears throat> um, it also describes how uh, he spent a few weeks living with them, uh, learning from their their custom, learning their customs, learning their um, their way of life. And it just, yeah, it describes them as a very noble race that, that are very protective of what they own, but also very protective of, of just nature in general. And it does mention Istisha a handful of times. Um, it, it will say that um, although Sir Oliver never met Istisha himself, obviously, he, he did learn that the Triton serve him and, and do his bidding, essentially. Um, that's that's the TLDR of what you read in there. Are there any mentions, particularly around the time that he started living with them, of how he breathed underwater? The Triton? No, how he did. How Sir Oliver did. Um. Good show. Okay. It will mention that uh, as you kind of look through, he didn't like live underwater 24 7 he had like his little little abode on the coastline but that the triton handed him uh potions that they made themselves to allow him to breathe underwater for extended periods of time and by extended periods i mean like hours on end uh how did he is there any well okay did, did he mention how he like initially made contact uh it does there's a passage that uh, says 
when I first arrived at the sites of uh, at the at the site that is this beautiful lake, I was gross, grimy, sweaty, covered in 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 muck from trudging through the jungle for hours on end. Figured I deserve a bit of a bath, and uh, basically just decided to clean himself in the lake and encountered the Triton um, okay. as he was bathing. All right, so it's pretty good. Kuzus noodle math. Drink potions to breathe. Swim in lake to get the first contact. All right, fair enough. Uh, and the, what was uh, what was about his tissue was pretty brief, or just here or there, not. Just he just knows that the Titan serve Estisha, but he doesn't really go in depth on on mm. on, on Estisha. Okay. Uh, how much time? How much time did it take to just sort of get you know a few of these sort of key points? Uh, I'll say you spent about an hour in that shop reading through the book. I then want to pull out the Elemental War, mm -hmm. which is the other book that I have, okay. and I want to look for this name that Kess mentioned, Dashu. Dashu. Just control F. Control F dash you. Yeah, yeah. The uh <laughs> dash you's on the other foot now. As you're kind of going through, you end up at the same chapter where you read about um about about uh Rosemu the Fair. Um and it does name some powerful jinn that 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 aided Rosmu and the name Dashu is mentioned. It also mentions that Dashu uh, was more of a um, diplomat and made sure that the, con the, 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 the lines of cooperation between the other elemental tribes and them didn't get any hiccups or run into any problems. He wasn't much of a, of a, of a, of a fighter in that. But he was conflict. part of sort of the inter-elemental relations yeah. during the war to kind of keep stuff going smoothly. Yeah. So so he's also an air elemental. Uh, he's described as a jinn. Which, when I see, when I think jinn, I think fire, but... Um, well, there's... Jinn's the type of elemental. Yeah. Right. Yeah, he is described as a but jinn, but he, he, of... he comes up, he comes up first. Windy boy? Of yeah, windy the... boy. He comes up first in a chapter that is dedicated to, like, all the, the air elemental stuff, so you reckon he's probably... Yeah. Yeah. So then, okay, I'm not. I'm not going to get into the semantics of elementals right now. <laughs> Thank um, you. What is an elemental? Okay, so he dash through the diplomat. D for diplomat. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I think then in that case, that's everything. I will go. Well, I'll glance over Lazarin. Anything? Anything useful? I mean, I'll I'll just say it's just so generic information and what I read. Um, uh, no, nothing particularly like, useful, but it's just a good invention there. I just wonder, is it worth us looking to see if uh, this uh, Istisha is after anything? And maybe we could almost do like a trade bargain, you know? Just. Are they looking for something in particular that we could I, offset the piece, you know? you know, like, I want to avoid any confrontation with Istisha if it's possible. That's what I'm saying, you know. And can... just deal with the Triton and maybe. Because seeing what Sir Oliver's written, it's not like they're zealots, you know. It, it, it really doesn't come up that they, they're they fierce worshippers of Istisha or anything. They serve Istisha, but not... It, 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 I don't know, it, it doesn't seem like a really strong theme, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So I'm thinking maybe if we just sort of shake the right hands, we might be able to get our hands on the tier without thinking dealing with... Thinking backup plans, you know, it's... Uh, we. It, Taking, you know, I'd say taking one treasure would, would you know, yeah, we can, you know, back up plans for, like tit know. for tat, but what can we do? But, Elemental Lord of Water, I feel like if we're gonna say, oh, is there anything, you know, we could help you out with to get the tier, it would be screwing over Kasu in a different way, you know what I mean? It, it, it might be worth asking, but I don't know. I think um, it's something we have to bear in mind. Yes, yeah, I, I think, yeah, we'll have to, we'll probably deal with him at some point. Uh, we should. Talk to Quirky, however. Oh, definitely, sir. So I was thinking just the same thing. Yeah, and... Uh, I want to write a letter, actually. I'm going to write a letter home to my 
father and see if he has any idea where this Sir Oliver might be nowadays Good. because we're all from the same place. I mean, hmm. are you saying this out loud? Yeah, talking, just saying to uh, uh Orville Lazarus. will kind of like perk up. Sir Oliver? Well, yeah, he wrote this book, didn't he? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I could tell you, you don't, I mean, if you want to write a letter home, of course you can, but uh, I can, I can, he lives, um, he still lives in Kaldar. He's, um, oh, really? Yes, he's, in the he's retired. Um, last I've heard, which was a few months ago, I think, he, um, he has a home in, in New Daramouth. Well, we'll probably pass through there on our way to the jungle, so we'll have to see if we can pay him a house visit. He, um, oh, you know, given his age, I feel like, especially humans, they, they, they get a little... When you're a certain <laughs> age, but... Uh, you know, eccentric or... Eccentric and a bit... A little Captain Jack Sparrow, apparently. A bit, um... <laughs> how do I say this in the nicest way possible? Eccentric is one word to say, but also, um... They lose the plot a little bit. Crazy. Right. <laughs> I'm quite aware. Cuckoo. <laughs> Not all there? I... Yes, I understand. Right. Yes. Well, I mean, looking at his writings, he's always been a little bit eccentric. I mean, it Absolutely. takes something it's a, to It's publish. a pleasant read, you know, it switches it up from the typical stuff, but... Yes, yeah, it's not exactly, no. um, you know, New York Times bestseller or anything, but. <clears throat> so, uh, but do it, Aramith. Last I've heard. Um, so. Right. Well, thank you so much. And uh, we'll, we'll have to take a look for them while we're there. How much for both the books? Um, well, let's say that book, um, History of Keldar, is a bit more, um, you know, well written. The one written by Quirky. Uh, that'll be a gold. The book, Triton of the Lake, five silver. will probably do. Yeah, I'll just give you. I'll give you two gold for the lot. Appreciate it. And uh, uh -huh. don't forget to come back if you need to do some more research or anything. Well, I I have a question actually. I'm mm -hmm. I'm of need of a of a book of a certain value um, for spellcasting reasons. Oh. Um, and also, I, I just now have a collector as well. It'll be interesting to read a book. Do you have anything worth like 25 gold? A book worth 25 gold? A grimoire of. Well, do you care dragons? about the, 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 you know, what's written in it? Or is it just. Well, I mean, if it's an interesting read, it'd be better. Yeah, but like, it's not like. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's not important. It's also an interesting read. I could also just be like. No. You know? Yeah. It doesn't um, have to be. Just well. In person. I have a book, or a, a tome, rather, um, okay. which is very old. Dates back to, um, well, before, say, we think, dates back to about 500 years before the, mm -hmm. um, the, the third era even started. So, so it's, it's quite old, but, um, mm -hmm. most of the, the, the pages have kind of been ruined. But the cover is intact, and well, I'll, I'll just show it to you, and you'll understand why it's okay. it's worth that much money. And he goes to like this this like some, this hid, hidden away compartment mm. in his uh, in one of the in one of the walls behind the desk, and does some elaborate fucking mm. fidgeting around. And you see this like this like compartment in the wall open up, and he grabs his tome and just like. <laughs> <laughs> plops it on the desk. You can see that hmm. this this cover is just instead of like the normal leather binding, it's completely plated in gold. And there's gems just set in all the corners. And so, even though the inside's uh -oh. ruined, you understand the value now. It's, um... I mean, I. Oh no! If this seems like such a waste of something that I'm going to be using just purely for spellcasting, something of this. Well, you but... you. you... But selling price is uh, thirty gold, so it's a little over what you're looking for. But I mean, that's fine. You see, like he just, Alasa just looks at the gems on this thing. <laughs> He's like gonna just... pick them off. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's <laughs> <laughs> a minute which I'm like, oh, we're destroying this book. Someone well, you, party is destroying this book. <laughs> you pick, you pick the gems off. His value goes down. It can't be used for the spell anymore. 
<laughs> True. <laughs> that's, not how the, that's not how books work. <laughs> Unless no one DM's like, try me. Try Unless me. no Let's one realizes out. that the gems have been replaced with glass. Yeah, they're probably glass anyway. Let's be right. The magic would know if it's like... The magic would know! The magic gold. would know! <laughs> this is only 24 But Alasrin wouldn't and know... Silver. What the Alasrin <laughs> wouldn't know why his spell didn't work. Yeah. Cut, uh, cut to yeah. Alasrin like in his tavern like room with a prit stick, just sticking fucking gems back on the cover of the book <laughs> to get it to work again. So so dazzling his trying to figure out to remember which order the gems went in. Like, wait, is it going this one? Fuck. You're probably not going to be able to really read much of it, but it'll, I mean, it'll, it'll again, not the need for for spell casting and stuff. How big is like? Is it just like is it the size of a book or is it? Like, I mean, he's a halfling, so he's a little shorter and a little smaller than you. But oh, even okay. for you, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's it's. Well, that's gonna be fucking fantastic to carry around, but sure. Like, it's one, of, it's one of those books that you like carry on the on the. It's yeah. like it's like all the Wheel of Time books put together. Big, Holy big fuck! Stack. Oh, so you mean? Oh, so it's just like it's just the Stormlight Archive put together. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's, just, it's, just, it's a big. That's fine. Basically. It's a, it's a big and it's a chunky one. It's hefty. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll be like, yes, that will do perfectly. Thank you. Oh, I will there. buy the book, and I will put down thirty gold. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate Actually, it. Actually, I put down three platinum. Because. Yep. Like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm, three platinum. Okay, big shot. Oh, means I can get rid of Anything else I can pockets. do for you too? No, I think I, I think I think that'll do it for us. All right. Well, yes. um, thank you for your time. Appreciate, appreciate the business it. and uh, thanks so much for the help. Any more need for any knowledge or books in the future? You know what I mean. And uh, with a, I tried to put it my ling. boot, the book in my bag, but it's just definitely sticking out. You know, like, you know, like the fact, like just about going over, like it's definitely like up. <laughs> pull, the, pull the door open the and head out, work. and head to the the it's photography guild, hall? guild, right? Guild? It's like, yeah, is it like, a, is it like a guild hall? Or is it just like a shop that's just called the photography um, guild? Or is it like the photographers guild? guild is located in the guild district of the city. Okay, so it's. It's a it's a proper guild. It's not someone that like named a shop after a guild and was like. Ah, yeah. I'm just picturing it. fucking Wally from <laughs> Monkey Island too. Oh my god. Uh, do 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 do. Let me have a look. See. Wrote this shit ages ago and it never came up until now. Yes. Love when that it. happens. Um, so you make your way to the to the guild district, um, and you can see this this pretty large structure uh, and and banners all kind of just decorating the walls um, that have this 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 colored compass stitched, stitched in it uh, four colors white blue green and uh, gray representing sky land mountains uh, and, and water or sea um, and you can see people going in and out with like scrolls and, and rolled up paper under their arms or in their bags and um yeah you've, you've made for a Burman. Yeah. compass points looking for Any a uh, around uh you going inside or are you staying outside i'm going inside okay. heading in when you go in uh you can see they stand out you can you can spot two aracocra uh one looking older uh, faded yellow plumage, slightly crooked grey beak, donning uh, a monocle on his left eye, uh, wearing what seems to be a slightly old cloak that only goes over one shoulder, kind of like a like a toga kind of vibe uh, going on. Uh, one's probably white, but now it's more of like an off-white due to just age. Uh, with the same like stitched on compass. And he's accompanied by a younger Aarakocra, uh, wearing the same white robe, but better kept. Uh, brown plumage, yellow beak. Looking a lot younger. I will, like, as we see them, quirky I'll, quirky Jr. I will, I will tell, like, I'll turn to Evan, like, I hope the old one is quirky, just so we don't get this wrong, because we didn't actually ask if he quirky was old or young. I don't know how Aarakocra age. Best way you know? to find out. Quirky! <laughs> yeah. And then, then the, the older and one is funny. The Aarakocra with the monocle, the older one, yeah. like, kind of, like, looks in your direction. Who's your last kid? Just the bird I've been looking for, and I'll, I'll walk over. Um, for a bird person? Should have brought on you. But just the bird person I was looking for. Thank you. Um, we've been reading your book, one of your books, I assume, uh, about the history of Keldar. Right, yes. What do you think? Well, as 
some useful information. Specifically, we're looking for more about Lake Udina. I don't suppose you have uh, any maps, anything like that? Oh, um, oh, well, we, yes, but also, um, depends on, are you looking for, there's different types of maps, you see, there's, there's yeah, of course, you know, there's just maps that show you where's, where there's tribes and villages, but there's also maps that really go into the, the, the climate, and there's maps that really go into, you know, the, the lay of the land, mountains, and that sort of thing. What, what exactly is it that you, that you need? Uh, one about... Well, it wouldn't be called a political map, would it? It would be called like a, a, a population map or something. One that shows the, the, the different tribes, the different sort of cultures, whatever, you know, borders, areas like that. And ooh, one with the... I, mean, I don't sure suppose you have to... like the topography of the lake itself, do you? I was going to say... How deep it goes. Probably, a, whatever the most detailed map of the area you, you have, you can get us. And also one that's pretty just outlined general, you know, right. adventurer, basic, um, as it were. Tell you what. I have the assets available to me to, to, to provide you with, with such a map. But if you... You're not really into the whole cartography thing, are you? You're just here to look at a map and understand... Um, quick well, look. I... I suppose it depends why you're asking, but... Well, I, asking, I, you know, um, I'm a ranger, I've made a few charts and maps If you can give me a couple of days, time. me and my niece here, uh, Ikri, will, will be able to basically... Take these three separate maps that all kind of fit roughly what you're looking for and into what make one cohesive map of it. Uh, but it'll take us a couple of days just writing, you know, making it. Right. Map. Um, but if you have that time, uh, I'd gladly provide you with that instead of three loose maps. It's up to you. That you would that be great. I don't suppose you'd mind if I sat in on the process while you worked. Um, well... Sure, but um, it, it, like I said, it will take me a couple of days. So yeah, that's fine. I mean, um, we, uh, we it's already quite late in the afternoon. I don't suppose you'd be getting started today, but if I'll you start up tomorrow, get a start on it uh, tonight when I'm at home and take it to work tomorrow and uh, spend the entire day working on it. Well, if you wouldn't mind me coming in in the morning tomorrow, I'd I'd, I'd love to sort of uh, you know see how you work and familiarize myself a little bit. Sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, don't, I don't mind. All right. Um, well, since I mean, it seems like quite an undertaking. I suppose it's going to cost us a little bit. Um, uh, if you want anything in advance, we charge about five gold a map custom order. So, but given that this one is a bit more complicated because it's combining several features of different types of maps into one. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> He kind of like eyes you up and down and looks at uh, Lazarin. You get an upcharge because you look fancy. Say, um, I've got a question. You, you, you. I've heard talks of, of um, you know, I, I'm quite close with some of the council members, and they mentioned a group of mercenaries that have done some tasks for them. Do you happen to be among them? Yes, that probably is us. If it's Heard it from General Kron, I suppose. Uh, yes, among other people. Yeah, we've been we've been dealing with some pests and stuff, you know. We are a group. Of, uh, right. We are part of a group of mercenaries. Well, given that you've 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 done city quite a service, and uh, willing to say, instead of charging you five gold for each of the type of map, I'm going to have to combine. We'll, we'll say seven gold for the whole process. Sounds like a fair deal to me, and I'll kind of look at Davian and to be like, you pay the man <laughs> when he gets the fork back. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, sorry, sounds good to me, I had to blow my nose. It's dusty yeah. in here or something. Yes, it's, um, it's, it's cleaning day, we should just a little bit of dust, cobwebs and whatnot, but uh, yeah, you don't want them, you know, cockro, I can just fly up and get them. Mossy in the maps or whatever they do something uh, like that do we invest a lot of money in in, in anti you know waste combat moths and other and other waste other bugs that's or combat creatures. moths that sounds amazing sounds terrifying it could be that down <laughs> <laughs> she'll like yes uncle and starts like <laughs> writing down combat moths and just a rough sketch of a moth with machine guns <laughs> 
Right. Much. Well, um, um, I'll leave it in your capable hands, capable wings. You're yeah, both. Uh, oh, yeah. And I'll call in in the morning, hopefully. And uh, that's good. Did you pay him? Seven gold? Did you give it to him already? Or yeah, sure. I mean, I'm sure actually Lazarin did it probably. So nope. Uh, Lazarin said to you, Lazarin looked at Davy and went, "Go on, pay the man." <laughs> give him yeah. that look, like. Mm. <laughs> Gave me the look of a man who just bought a 30 gold book. Yeah, basically. It's that look of like, I've just got 30 gold on a fucking book, dude. <laughs> like, I need this. I need... Yeah, okay. So I hand over seven gold and uh, turn on my heels. Catch you in the morning. See you in the morning. And we shall head out. Right. I suppose back to the friendly giant then. Yes. So at this point, while these guys have been away for, like, say, 90 minutes, uh, what have you guys been doing in the Friendly Giant? Af after uh, Brooks brought us those drinks, we had a chance to try them for a bit. I just, because it'll take me only, like, a few minutes to write, because it's not long, mm -hmm. took out my journal and wrote a, a new journal entry that's just called Cocktail Ratings, and I show it to Brooks, and it has a <laughs> score out of 10 for all the different cocktails he's ever bought me. So the Smokestack gets a 5 out of 10. Second one just says... Just says fancy wine, four out of ten. Brackets. Sorry, didn't read the label, so I can't remember <laughs> what fancy wine it was. Third one, stormy sky, six out of ten. Wish in the well, four out of ten. And then the rusty, <laughs> the rusty cutlass is a seven out of ten. Ooh. Okay. Nice. And if you ever want to reference it, Ethan, it's on the World Anvil, and I'll update it throughout the okay, game, so cool. nice. you don't have to Incredible. remember that. <laughs> okay. I mean, I have list on what drinks everyone's like, but. But now you have exact numbers, you have an exact metric. Specifications. <laughs> Specifications. <laughs> um, okay. Other than that, um, I'm just going to keep drinking my drink. Brooks! If, if... What? You, what you... you at this point? If I wanted to make something, could I get you to help me? <laughs> that... Depends entirely on what it is that you want to make. <laughs> I want to make a little statue of blue. I... Uh, do I want to ask why? This feels... Why not? Why do I, ha yeah, why I, do I, I have to have a reason? Bring myself, I, I can't bring myself to care enough to actually delve into that, so... Um, That's that what I'm betting on. how... Artistic, are you? I'm, I'm pretty good. Because actually carving the statue of a man that I've never met, probably pretty fucking... I could do a little illusion and show you what I mean. Yeah, no, that's not going to cut it. Mm -hmm. You're either going to need to help me or carve it but yourself. Obviously, and we'll, I'm going gonna, gonna to sign to Kess. Can you take him in the vessel to meet Blue? Would that help? I cannot right now. I'm, I will be able to, probably. Blue mentioned it before, but I can't right now. <laughs> if you can figure out a way to make some sort of statue, then I can make a mold and we can cast yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, that's... Okay, in which case, you need to figure out that shit, and then... Already done. make a mold, and then we'll cast it. <laughs> what do you mean by already done? It's in my head. <laughs> oh, that not sit comfortably with me. What? I just... Why does it? Why do you doubt me? <sighs> you and I, dears, tend to not have a good relationship. I just kind of like wave <laughs> my journal, my I... journal in front of Kess as a reminder, then look at Brooks. <laughs> I have <laughs> excellent <laughs> ideas. Yeah, of course, sure. Ideas, whatever you say. Name one bad idea I've had. Still in my journal. That was an excellent idea. Upsetting dragon. That wasn't so much an idea as an accident. <laughs> Making a shit apology to dragon. That was a matter of practice. <laughs> you see, at this point, pleasure just starts cackling. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoying this conversation. As she's kind of just sitting there. Making me like I'm half, also trying half, not half to laugh. Leaning on her, like, hand just is looking at you two fucking squabbling. Making me and spend, like, 30 fucking minutes holding on to some shitty fucking vessel thing. 
and then just appearing out of nowhere. That was an excellent idea. <laughs> I didn't expect you to hold it the whole time. You told Did me you to hold it. Did you just have it in your hands? You asked yeah, me to hold it, so I held on to it. Yeah, but you can, like, put it in your pocket. Yeah, but I didn't know. You were in it. We're on a moving cart. I didn't know. <laughs> it's a different dimension. Like, I didn't the, know the that movement, it... The movement of the cart I thought does it not might... interact I tried with the to. I would spend the, the entire fucking time trying to hold it as still as I could. I was yeah, but it'd be awkward if he put it in his pocket and then you just like, <laughs> like burst, out, <laughs> burst out of his pocket when he came back. That's some horror movie shit. <laughs> Surprise, Kes. Surprise! Well, Jack in the box, but it's a Kes. Full of terrible ideas. <laughs> this is not Kes true. In the box. Uh, Putting okay. chickens in the high priestess's house was a brilliant idea. Of, of the three remaining... <laughs> members of the group that are here. Let's have a vote. Oh, no. Dragon. Diplomacy never... Aww. Does Kes have Democracy more good ideas or more bad ideas? <laughs> I I do the 50-50 because I have the most experience. So I do that like half and half non-committal gesture and say it's about... And then I'll sign to Kes. I'd say it's about equal. The horse idea was great and has already proven very useful. That was an excellent idea. Both times I've had ideas about idea. horses, they were excellent plans. I have no contest to, this. like, that sounds... The, co the cart, and then one time me and Daigon stole some really fast horses. That's... We were, okay, so we were hired by this lord to uh, hobble a horse so that when his horse was racing the other horse, he would win, even though he was cheating. But, like, I don't fucking care. Um, but we didn't want to hurt the horses, so instead we just stole them. <laughs> I like, caused a distraction by flooding with the stable guy or whatever, and then let him loose. And then, and then I got him. And I'll sign to Kess, and you can tell him it already has proven useful because yeah. we had to do the two-person riding thing in that one fight with Davian where we almost died and then we didn't die. So, clearly good good idea. Exactly what Dagon said, which I have <laughs> not translated. <laughs> exactly you just what say Dagen... exactly what Dagon exactly said. Exactly what Dagon said. Nice. <laughs> I just I just do a bit of a like a head face bomb. <laughs> I just look at Daigon and shrug. <laughs> I know about five words of thing Daigon does and I didn't recognize any of them just now, so Yeah. You three are truly fascinating. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult at this point. I'm way. taking it as a compliment. And you yeah, can't well, stop me. Remind me, pleasure understood, because pleasure speaks. Pleasure knows uh, hand talk. Thieves can't, right? Isn't? Am I remembering correctly? No, that was... Because when thinking, I talked to... You're that, thinking of... That um, was tiefling barkeep jolly. in... Uh, oh, that was yeah, jolly. jolly. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah. They both have, like, happy names. We don't know. Okay? Well, They're both tieflings, tieflings are typically named after an emotion or a, a I know, I just... I forgot. T tieflings... Like it's a thing where like it's not a mind. name. That's a name. It's it's like a <laughs> stage name. Statement. It's like... my bad. <laughs> I'm I'm clearly tiefling racist. That's you know, <laughs> there we go. They're all the same. They're all the same. Special. A lot of people are. So no. Really. <laughs> right. Well, uh, it's just the fucking five of us, and things are stupid and fucking bored. So, do we want to play a game of cards and potentially lose all of your money? I've seen you play cards before. It'll pass. I'm very lucky when it comes. Mm, that makes me skeptical. Or for a couple well, of drinks. Well, let's just say that. Um, take his sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to come over to share my sleeves, but that's fine. No wink at pleasure. How much are you offering? I don't know. We'll find out what happens after I get the shit kicked out of me. That's right. So are you all? Uh, are you are the only one partaking, or um, friends too? I mean, I'd love for Dagon to fight. That would be fun. They didn't seem particularly excited when um, she kind of like looks at uh, Dagon. Best time for her to change her mind. I just raise an eyebrow at at guess. That's all. I we'll talk about it later. <laughs> I will slide over the wide eye to Dagon. Which one's that? It is. Well, I mean, Dagon wouldn't know, but it, <laughs> it's uh, it's vodka with sugar and 
If you look here, sort of smell of coffee. It smells like coffee. I'll I'll sniff it, and and my nose kind of wrinkles a bit, hmm. and and I nod no, but I'll point but I'll point at the glass that I'm about to finish of the drink that you gave me. Oh, the rust cut. Yeah. Okay. I don't like bitter things. I like sweet things. I like I like ordering the the one with the flower in it because it means someone has to make the fucking flower and that's funny. <laughs> They're not made to demand, you know that, right? Like they make them. Up. Yeah, but someone had to make it. <laughs> and I imagine it's not easy. I don't actually know. I don't actually know if Cav makes these or buys them in. I get various bar to bar. Does he look like he could make those? <laughs> I'm gonna make no assumptions about the man's dexterity. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know this is not an assumption. He does not make those. We, we, we buy them from a third party. No, that takes some of my enjoyment out of it. Uh, but only like a little my... bit. Somebody right, at some so point in the world still Someone has to make, has to make it. <laughs> Probably hated their entire life while they did it. Although to <laughs> be fair, if it's laughing at the expense of the person making it is what you're after, then... Surely it would be funnier to not order that, right? Because then at that point, you know, at some point it'll go to waste. No, because then I still, like, get to enjoy it. I'm trying to get the sense of your brain and it's proving to be very hard. Part of me really wants to teach you how to order really fucking pain-in-the-ass drinks. Because it's funny. Don't do it here. Like but I also know that it'll, it will come down. <laughs> it, will, it will come around to bite me in the ass, so I'm not mm -hmm. going yes, to. Yes, it will. Right. So... Do we want to play cards? Or do we want to do something mystical? I'm going for a bath. Mm, pleasure. I just hold what up you... two what fingers is... for option number two. What 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 mystical nonsense are you trying to pass off as mystical? What do you mean nonsense? What have I never I ever don't been... believe have you I ever been have anything any to front with you? <laughs> At this point, pleasure walks off, but Rianel stays behind and Learn the new trick. I'm going to take the tarot deck out of my back. <gasps> Wait. I'm going to splay them out across the table. And then I'm going to cast Minor Illusion. Oh. And make it appear like the cards are floating up and across the table. You need to get better tricks. <laughs> I do the cat thing where you go to like paw at it because it's moving. Does my hand go through the illusion? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who are you yeah. reading then? Do Dagon. I, I, I volunteer mean, Dagon. The only reason why I'm being shy with it is because you were being fucking doubtful, but. It depends. Dagon, do you want to have your fortune read? I'll nod, yes. It's not something that's. Like, this is. this. I know that I'm not necessarily the most trustworthy when it comes to cards, but. <laughs> Tarot's not just a cheap con side hustle on the street. It's something that's really serious. And I just and nod I in just understanding. Make sure you know that that that's like, like you don't fuck with great powers beyond. You don't fuck with the fair folk, that sort of shit. Great powers beyond. <laughs> <laughs> how are the cards splayed out? Like, how do you want me to pick one? Um, do you want me to just roll a dice, or do you want me to describe their visual I... layout and I'll point to one? I mean, I have a set of cards that I'm going to shuffle. Okay. Um, but Brooks prop. is also going to shuffle the cards Props. in front of you. <laughs> Yay! So, uh, what do you reckon? Cass, this seems like your sort of thing. Have you done tarot? Oh, before? yeah. I've had it done for me many times. It was so much fun. Do you reckon, Dagon, do you have a question or do you just want to do like a five card spread? Um. I, I'll, um, sign to Kess, just, just a, gen, just a general, re I don't, I can't think of anything specific. She doesn't have any questions, do what you want. So let's do a spread then. You ever had your, your fortune read before? Nope. So, so five card spread is, uh, it's very focused on current situation, how that is affected, how it will affect things to come. So, you ready? Mm-hmm. And I will draw the first card. Cheers. 
the Hierophant. Reversed. Cool. Down. Brooks will look across the table at Dagon. With, like, a half smirk at this one. See, this is, uh... <laughs> Laura's getting her deck. I think Laura's yeah. getting her deck. Laura's getting her, like, tarot deck and shit. And her uh -oh. moons, but... <laughs> Yeah, the book. <laughs> I'm being assessed. Oh, shit. Uh oh Continue, continue. Okay, well, uh... This is something very interesting to pull. I mean, I don't tend to, to reverse my cards very often, so this is... A sign, definitely, for sure. There's things that the deck mm. wants you to know. Yeah. This is a card mm. that, that generally represents tradition, conformity, the necessity of following rules or well-established relationships. It sounds familiar. <laughs> With a reversal, it implies either the breaking of traditions or new beginnings, new relationships. The kissing of boys. <laughs> <laughs> Just this one little like halfling like child at the corner of the table. The kiss of boy. Two boys. <laughs> <laughs> you're out out of character. You're kind of right. That's, that's pretty. That's, yeah, yeah. I'll take that. I mean, who says that Brooks knows anything about tower? Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. So <laughs> that's why I got. Okay. This. I was intrigued if you were actually. So this is your <laughs> your current moment. And then we. So wait, what was that first card then? That the was just... reversed. No, I mean, like, like your... the what it was a That's your current to. moment. That one we just said was yeah. current. Okay. Your second card in Fire Card Spread. How'd you deal with this? How'd you weather it? How do you push through? The Knight of Cups. Romance, but not necessarily. Kissing boys! <laughs> <laughs> Brave, brave of you to assume that Dagon's straight. Oh, Who says uh, it would be a boy? Uh, uh, you don't know. <laughs> kissing yeah, people! Uh, everyone is the boys, you know? That's so. true. Boys with their eyes in. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Romance, but not necessarily a romantic relationship. The romance and the joy of life. Adventure. Following your heart. It's a fairly easy read, this card. It's just be true to yourself and your emotions. Go with how you feel, go with your heart. Rather than going with your head. I just, because I know he's, I just signed a kiss. Well, already those two cards don't make sense together. First one says, try something new. So the second one says, go with your like heart, do what you know. What, what is it? Be more spontaneous. <laughs> I just go, I know I know what you're trying to do. It's not going to work. What oh, come on. Mean? It would be so much fun. You would beat them into, like, pulp. I just gesture for Brooks to continue. <laughs> I was waiting for the, the wild gesturing to stop, but okay. Ugh, fuck off. What's your lesson to learn from the current point? I know, draw again. Well, apparently it's both. Ace of Swords. Definitely kissing boys. <laughs> The Ace of Swords <laughs> represents a fresh start or opportunity, clarity, new ideas and concepts. This card isn't something that is clear as the last. It's very open to interpretation. It's definitely... You know, each to their own individual interpretations and make of it what you will. For me, I would say that based on things that have happened recently, it's it's a sign that this is maybe a new start for you. Hold on, I'm writing these down so I can read. So it was Hierophant reversed for the first one, and then we yeah. had Knight of Cups. Yeah. Page Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. And then this was Ace of Swords. Okay. Ace of Swords. Yeah. Okay, so that's three of your five. Your last two are simpler. It's what's leaving at this time, what's arriving at this time, what's exiting your life and what's coming into it, so start with what's leaving. Five of Pentacles. Brooks is gonna laugh at this one, because that is a stupid fucking card for me to pull. Why? <laughs> uh, that's 
fairly astute, actually. Five of Pentacles is usually representative of money and the loss of money, but can also be representative of action, anxiousness, loneliness, despair. If that's the fourth card that we've pulled a few, then to me, that sort of reinforces the idea that you're on that fresh start and and that those feelings of being anxious or being on your own are on their way out. Dude, the way mine described it is emo as fuck card. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> and you ready for your last one? Mm-hmm. So this is what's arriving at this time. <laughs> Five of cups. Lots of fives. Mm. Well, I guess two out of them. Then. Last two Lots of fives. Of I promised I shuffled this for like three days. I pretty shuffled. It's fine. I'm going to show the card like much more. I'm I like this one. This one, Brooks actually hands the card over to Dagon, whereas the others he just sort of laid on the table. Um, And it's a. It's, uh, generic tarot deck and you can see on the card that there is I'll hold it up where is it where is it where the fuck did i just put this i just put this down because i'm stupid it, that doesn't help me at all there we go uh i don't know how well this show up on camera um the, the, like, the figure the, like, you know, youtube make a tutorial fucking yeah. yeah right the the figures stood uh there are three cups spilled in front of the figure and two cups stood up behind and the figure appears to be crying or weeping. Five of Cups as a fifth card is interesting. Again, it's very open to interpretation. It's one of those cards that's like glass half full, glass half empty. You've got the three spilled cups who remain. Which do you focus on? I would say that the deck's trying to tell you that there are some things you can't change. And rather than being upset about that, the best thing you can do is focus on what's left or what you can change. It like can... the arrangement of someone's face in a fight ring. <laughs> She's yeah. actually not wrong. It it can mean emotional disappointment to come. Feel like you've had a bit of that recently but literally the way i interpreted it i put either a check mark or an x or a straight line so like does the card indicate like go to fight club or don't go to fight club and in my interpretation we have two yeses one no and two maybes it doesn't help me <laughs> five of cups definitely implies that there's a potential for emotional disappointment but the idea that behind that is that you can use those opportunities to learn and grow as a person. I don't know what I'll just about you, but that is a that is a very unusual reading. Very I just shrug. I don't know. I don't can know. I like can I insight check Brooks? The, uh, want... Was he doing genuine or was he saying yeah. or was he making it up or is yeah. the, the meaning of what, what is it you want to know? What is I want to know playing? I want to know if he's bullshitting. <laughs> okay, what do you mean by bullshitting? Like, I are mean, you saying what you think for, to, like, push me away you want? Or is that is, actually the meaning attributed to the cards? Is, like, are, I, are you checking to see if Brooks is misinterpreting the cards, or...? I want to see if the, like, actual playing of the cards was genuine. So, is that an insight check, or is that, like, a... Are you that looking might be, to see that if That might be perception. I don't know. We're That's trying to see if he, like... End. Fuck around Skew with cards. the deck so to draw yeah. the cards you want to draw. Yeah. Uh, well, while shuffling and stuff, you would have had to like make a perception check real quick for me. See if he's fucking okay. with it. Uh, seventeen. Mm, Brooks, for the sake of just shuffling the cards, make a sleight of hand check. Uh, natural seventeen, so higher. Uh, sleight of hand twenty-two. Seemed uh, le seemed legit to you. <laughs> like he seemed to just shuffle uh. the deck and draw normally <clears throat> interesting okay when did you become so spiritual brooks i've dabbled here and there in superstition i mean a lot of it comes from my dad to be fair 
you know, whole fucking... I mean, there's a lot of Sicarly and superstition and folklore anyway, but, you know, the whole used to be a sailor thing, and yeah, I think a lot of it I picked up off my dad. Well, if this mercenary thing ever falls through, you could also could always join the circus as a bit of a card reader slash fortune teller. I think that might be the only time someone has suggested I join the circus without meaning it to be insulting. You're welcome. Thanks. No. Oh. You should have done. You should have done cards when we were pretending to be a circus. A missed opportunity. Did I actually do anything where we were pretending to be? No! It was very disappointing. Nobody oh, asked me. The fucking, like, at the farm? Right, right, right. Yeah, right. when, 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 when Siren shot, when Siren shot an arrow at me and I caught it and whipped it back. Ooh! At this when point, I learned you guys will have uh... had some drinks and, uh, did a, did a card reading. At this point, Davian and Elasrin, you'll, uh, stumble back into, you know, <laughs> kick the door and you're in the bar. Hey, the back! You can just see... In like a Lazarin's bag? Is he like carrying it on his back or is it like on a side or is it? It's a side. You see there's like this big tome like half sticking out a little bit like. He... The Lazarin hobbles a bit because it's heavier than he's <laughs> used to. <laughs> oh. Just like see I keep on adjusting like my bag a little bit just like. Because he's like fighting back. Of course that is what the book you brought back would look like. What do you mean? You can't see it properly. You can't... <laughs> If it's just the cover peeking Starting out, the cover's out. what has yeah. all the gems on it. Like, yeah. I wouldn't make it so the fucking is it both <laughs> sides that gems are on, or just the oh, front? Yeah. Oh bugger! Good luck. <laughs> oh, bugger! <laughs> I was hoping to just a really decorative book for the sort of smut that you normally read. <laughs> what do you mean normally? I said I read one smart book. Doesn't mean I've read them all. <laughs> Yes, yeah, we've also never really mentioned reading any other books before, so... That's yeah. true. No, I... I actually yeah. didn't know you could read until you put out Smut, so... Oh... Uh, that's very the funny. only reason coming, you learn how to. Coming from you, Burks, that's very... Much. Good reason. Uh. <laughs> I'll walk over to the, to the table and ruffle Onu's feathers and, uh... Pull up a seat next to Kess and pull out the fucking Elemental War book. Mm -hmm. And set it down and just flip... So the the pit the section that mentioned Dashu and just kind of pointed out. I suppose this is probably the guy, but I mean, there's not much to say about him. Diplomat dealt with the other elemental people races. One thing that this teaches you, uh, Kess, is that he's a lot older than you thought he was. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel like we're not getting a full picture here? What do you mean? We can get a full picture if you want. Ale? <laughs> sure, why not? This camera is like super delayed for me. Yeah, uh, everything slowed down for a minute for me on Discord. Yeah, and I'll just like... Weirdly, wait, it, like, it, yeah, it, uh, is like... Someone, someone... On, the other COVID, on the other province cast time stop. Yes, so <laughs> so, <laughs> one of the... um hesitate to use the term wenches, is at the table, right? Yes. Uh, Rianel's with us. Yeah. Rianel. Rianel, could you please uh, fetch us a picture of ale? Of course, my liege. Anything else? Oh, you don't have to call me your liege. <laughs> a bit uncomfortable. I'll, no, it's alright. I'll get it myself. Like, <laughs> slightly, slightly wink at you as, as she gets up and uh, walks over to the, to the bar. It's fine. She's just not used to being the one to be told what to do. Is that not their job? No, oh, no, trust me, Rihanna's job is definitely not to be the one told what to do. Well, sorry. Didn't know if there was, like, table staff or what. Um, anyway. Yeah, what, what, what is the deal with Dashu? Um, Other Blue than mentioned really him. Knows Blue. Yeah, Blue, Blue's mentioned him before. I just wanted to see if there was anything interesting about him. Doesn't seem that interesting, but... I don't know. If he was a diplomat, does that mean he had diplomatic immunity? No, no. The question well, is, would he have a badge for it, though? That's true. I think that might be a safe assumption. I think a more interesting thing to think about is that he probably also knew Kwasuth, given that... True. He was oh. a go-between for oh, yeah, people that's like Rosmu and the rest of the elementals, so... Yeah. 
Could he maybe help with the whole lake thing? He would possibly be able to if he knew Estisha, who is also an elemental lord, that he might have dealt with at some point. I'll see if I can get some more information on that. I think e- either way, Rosmu is probably on better terms with this Stisha than probably. Kasu. So even if Dashu can't help, I'll ask him. I'll don't be honest, really I really have... don't like the way Dash is laughing and smiling. Oh, and just yeah, taking your turn. Didn't expect it to really take, did. but I'm here for it. You know, really hate that. <laughs> Bringing in outside diplomatic help, fight our battles for us. Hey, you talk to them. Go get the thing we want. <laughs> we've got. Well, a, I mean that. I mean that a diplomat to... on retainer. I mean that would uh, you know help with the situation because. In our research, Jeff and I thought of maybe certain plans. The Tritons seem to be, you know, they seem, all right. they seem like they can. We can talk to them and might even be able to get a, uh, you know, not even to help us. But could just steal if it. they, from what I, from what I read, and from what Davian has also seen, is that they are very protective of what is theirs when it's taken forcefully. I only think it'd be stolen with a good enough plan. Yeah, but they also... Right, they also, they're very, they're very hospitable and they'll probably right. go out their way to try and help us if we are reasonable. Which makes it easier to plan to steal from them. No, if anything makes it more... Di- no, Brooks. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure planning to steal is a really bad idea. A, from that, what it seems like is... It seems you know, like there's an easier solution than a heist. Can right. we steal it as a backup plan? Yeah. That's plan. That's, that's plan, plan C. At this no, point. plan number four. There's, there's gonna be got. We will think of a Wait, better are plan. Are we, are we going? Are we going alphabetically or, or numerically? Both. Just let's confuse it up. So no one knows <laughs> what plan is to. Okay, plan four. A is uh, hopefully just go and ask nicely. Can we please have this thing? Yeah. Thank Thank you. You. Well, no, no, no. Not just that. No, no, no. We go and we. You know, part, partake in the culture and get to know them a little bit, and you know, give them bread or something that they have, don't have. Bread? Uh, no, you, you think they don't? That. Actually, bread underwater sounds like a really bad idea. That sounds like a terrible idea. You know you what? You didn't think that one through. <laughs> Waterproof had... bread. I'm going to mention that to Quark. What if they've never had sandwiches? Anyway, plan number two or B. Is your plan a picnic? No. <laughs> It's being diplomatic for fuck's sake. So a diplomatic <laughs> picnic. <laughs> Basically, okay. Uh, quick, quick run through the plans. One, get ourselves asking nicely. Two, get ourselves talking to Astisha. Three, get Rosmu or uh, Dashu to talk to Astisha. And then four, steal it. I mean, we also have the plan of we can try and find something that maybe Astisha wants. Beforehand. Well, yeah, that would be dealing with Astisha. That would be plan B. Well, I mean, or it's... Two. Or that weird, you know, like oh, numerical, like the thing you do at the bottom of footnotes. Mm. <laughs> plan asterisk and plan weird little cross. IV. Then... <laughs> like, <laughs> they do it of, like a footnote. <laughs> so there are a few. There are a few options. I, from what I've read, they are very hospitable and reasonable people. So you know, and not overly zealous or, you know, uh. Oh, in in servitude to Estisha, not just sort of heavily indoctr- Maybe we can just party with yeah. them really hard until they like us, and then they'll just give it to us. Can I mean, fish get drunk? I mean, probably. If they get anything, get drunk. Yeah. Like poison. <clears throat> get them drunk. I mean, maybe if they'll be poison. Then maybe not. They are. I'm sure they'll have some wacky like fish wine. Well, speaking of wine. wacky fish wine, apparently no, they there make no potions. There is no conch. Conch? Are you drunk, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Speak- oh, well. Been a while since you drank, he has it. No, no, no. no, no. made it's him the, really uh, nervous, so he's been uh, drinking to cope with that. Rianel has seen me in far worse states than this. No, it's, it's true. the. Uh, she kind of like slams the, the pitch it, 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 It's the there. absinthe. It's not that I'm drunk, it's that my mouth's numb. <laughs> uh, mm hmm. Drunk all the time, hugging Tony. There, there is no culture on this plane that doesn't have some form of substance or alcohol. Or on the Feywild. Monks. You're right. I've never been to the Feywild, so I wouldn't know, but sure. I've heard of some fun spirits. 
Well, uh, oh, hold, hold on. Oh, no, hold on. Hold can on. I introduce you hold to on. my friend, Vodka? I say, I say, when you say spirits, do you mean like fae spirits or do you mean like alcoholic spirits? Yes. Fucks. No, I gave you two <laughs> options there. You can't say yes because I gave you two options. You have to say both. Yes, they make spirits yes. with spirits. That'd be weird drinking the... The mm. souls of the... I mean, you don't drink their souls. You drink their spirits. Mm. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Darren. <laughs> I feel like I, I'm not compartmentous enough for the rest of this conversation. It's the absence. While they're all talking, I just start to get bored, and I just look for any other unfinished drinks on the table, and I'm just going to start drinking. We just um, got a pitch of ale as well, so... <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you try the wide eye that smells bitter, it's not horribly bitter. Yeah, okay. I'll try it, because it's still there. It's quite how, sweet. How strong, like, does it, like, what's the most dominant flavor? Is it the coffee? Is it the vodka? Um, is it, like... It, it tastes like iced coffee, but the moment but you boots. swallow, there's a really strong taste of vodka. Okay. But it's like a sweet iced coffee. And it's called a wide eye? Yeah. All right. Wide and hardened. it's a journal entry. And then you um, see after, you see at one point as I'm drinking, if you notice, I, I then add it to my list. There's, uh, at this point, probably a half-drunk uh, hellhound on the table. Um, Brooks has finished all of the fucking... After the wide eye, I'll just stick with ale, because I'm like, I don't know what the other things are. <laughs> I feel like at this point, like, Brooks has drank, like, two-thirds of all of the drinks. Pretty much. Yeah. Um... I'm not I'm not drinking too much, because I'm uh, keeping my wits about me, but sip some ale. Do we, uh, unless there's something that you guys really want to do before the Fight Club thing? Break time? Uh, we're gonna take a break here because I really I have to go to the bathroom really badly and I say it's only been an hour and a half but we also it's all this talk of drinking start late but I really have to go to the bathroom plus then we can we can get Soko in here and uh, have yeah yeah so we'll be back probably a little bit of a longer break because I have to redo cameras and stuff and I have to pee are we gonna drag are we gonna wake Jax up so to make him come to Fight Club obviously like let's go let's go old man so we're gonna pick this up in a few minutes uh if you're new around here hit the follow button we greatly appreciate that check out the YouTube check out the Twitter and all that stuff. But, God um, it, yeah, we'll be back. BRB. That's not even how you say it. See you soon, it. chat. That's not how it's spelled. Hello. 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 Oh my god, guys, guys, Hello. 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 He's been, here. He's been here the whole time. The whole time. Just we Jackson's finally line. got him out of the central back. <laughs> we did it. We did it. You're free. Hi, Soko. Good to have you here for the second half, bud. Yeah, I could be here. <laughs> it's all good, homie. Looking fresh. Um, yeah, we're here. Gang's all here. So we'll say that for the purpose of this, now that Soko is here, um, we'll say that it's about like half an Jack hour Street's until <laughs> about half an hour until the fight club is supposed to start. Jax, you awake after passing out from a bit of a drunken stupor. Got a bit of a bit, bit of cotton mouth going on. Very um, dry, dry, dry mouth, dry throat. But uh, you're 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 alive, and that counts. Somehow, <laughs> didn't drink myself to death yet. You're alive. It's still, Jax is in total monologue. Damn it! I'm trying for 300 it. years. Another day awakened. <laughs> <laughs> Will the suffering never end? Why must I suffer? The whenever can do it. Whenever Jax like shows up downstairs, when he comes to join us, I would just go and get some water and have it at the table. I'm gonna quickly change region uh, in the call because it's, everyone is fucking delayed and Discord is just being a. No. I love delay. Delay. Okay. Hello. <laughs> hello. 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 We're good. Right. So, Jack, you wake up. What do you do? Uh, I head downstairs and look for a drink. I have water for waiting see, for you. You see the gang sitting at the table. Uh. Thank you, Tygen. Um, what did I miss? No, oh, nothing I much. Miss. Uh, well, I mean, Brooks was here, mystical, right? We got invited out somewhere. Oh yeah. Wait. I forgot. I forgot you Our dysfunctional for that. group got an invite. Yeah. Probably as From a result of I our dysfunctionality. <laughs> we. Killing, kidnapping, extortion. None of the above. Oh, you go to the kidnapping so fast. 
I'm kidding. I've done a lot of it, okay? It's... We have been invited to a so uh, uh, fun little <laughs> gathering where people are potentially going to beat the shit out of each other. It's a bit on the hush hush ship because it's not entirely taxable by the government. We're going to a fight ring! They're going to a fight ring. Wait, you're not going? Oh, it's not my Oh, thing. are you going to have a date with Siren? I'm not having a date with Siren. I'm Yay! not having a date with Siren. I'm not having a date with Siren. This is not what is happening. She's I gonna be so excited Siren's to see you. Siren's having a date with Eliza. I just do not like fighting rings. Once you have seen one, you've seen them all. They're going to get... not true. Oh. I've never seen one on a ship before. Then you clearly You are in for a treat. <laughs> oh, God. Of course the pirate would know. Wait, if, well, you yeah. the, if you go on the ship, I use... You've you... never seen one on an airship before, probably. That'd be Brooks. Now that's a proper fight. <laughs> I want to I want to insight check Elijah because I don't believe he's ever seen a fight ring on an airship. <laughs> I also don't, don't believe, believe this. You don't believe the rich boy has seen something extravagant in someone that makes no sense? No. How is a fight ring extravagant? <laughs> Because British people get bored. Is a Lazarin's idea of a fight ring two pompous nobles going, Your mother was a disappointment in yes, the royal court this weekend? <laughs> no, they're doing like real fancy fencing. They slap each other with a glove. Yeah. Yeah. They're no. doing like the fancy fencing with blunted weapons and like the proper form and like really fancy gear. They're not actually like. They're doing like. I bite my thumb at me! A Lazarin has definitely seen some fuck shit on an airship. <laughs> you fight like a dairy farmer. Well, how appropriate. You fight like a cow. <laughs> yes. That's all fine. Oh, well, I rolled a 14 on my insight, Mr. Uh, Von Julius Bernhardt, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> That's <laughs> Julius Vinod Dunbar. Dunbar, sorry. How dare you. Well, I rolled an 18 on my whatever check I did. <laughs> so I silently believe you. God, no, you oh can boy. still have hesitations. You hesitations? Just don't have, you shouldn't have reason to not believe me. <laughs> Realized fucking Ethan's camera's fucked after all, and I'm mad about it. Oof. Sorry. Just say. Ethan's you camera's not forgiven. What's new? This definitely... is entirely your fault. Definitely. No, it's because seen... fucking like. Mm. Uh, fucking Soko, dude. Dumbass piece of shit. True. I love that yeah. guy. <laughs> we no, thought you weren't coming. We because, thought it was um, like a Mormon holiday. Studio mode, very tiny, very hard to see the edges. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, we're good. Uh, so. Um, you know, speaking of this whole business that I probably shouldn't be too specific about, <clears throat> Jax has his sea legs, right? But Brooks, you spent much time on a ship. I've, uh, I mean, Do obviously, I was on a ship to come over here. Is that the only okay. time? I've been on ships, I just haven't been out on the sea often. Oh, I guess it's in the harbor, so it won't be too bad. I'm just thinking, you know, if it's going to be rocking, don't been on come a knocking. It shouldn't be too rocky. I'm assuming it'll be moored, so it'll be fine. But... Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, right. Again, I don't think Davian understands how ships work. That, you know, new people from that era of his life, we occasionally went and saw people who were on ships. We just didn't sail off with them. Felt like this was something that you knew about me, but no. Uh, uh, we, were we were talking about it earlier when you weren't here. But my dad, before he was here. a blacksmith, was a sailor for a little while. Oh, Probably where I picked up a lot of my superstitions. It would be it would be more fun if this ship was sailing around while the fight club was going on, though, right? I'm not the only one who thinks that. Whoa. You would pose an interesting element. Fun right. for who? Everyone, Everyone involved. I mean, maybe I not if, the people I wonder fighting, if you could but... use the momentum of the ship to swing a punch as the ship rocks and... Just yeah, right, exactly. That would be a lot of force. And, you know, given this whole thing is a little bit sketch, I mean, who are they going to tell if someone was to... Sketch? Is this some new lingo? Yes, all You know, sketch. Sketchy, it's just sus. You know, it's pretty sus. Oh. Sus. Do you mean suspicious? suspicious? Right. Why can't you just say the whole word? 
I've only got so many years on this earth, old man, unlike you. <laughs> as, and also, as he says that, I trying still to have, <laughs> you know, maybe like four years left. I don't no, know. I'm just saying you get many hundreds. <laughs> I only get maybe uh, 80 if I don't get Rusty Cutlass, so... <laughs> well, that sounds like you chose a bad place to be born. I don't know. So when he said, like, why don't you <laughs> just say the whole space word? geography, uh, Jax, I don't think that's... I mean, well, yeah. you have my species is entirely based in my own decision of where I was born. Right. Thanks, right. Jax. Jax, think, you come in. Mm -hmm. no, Jax, the even if you don't feel like fighting, even if you don't feel like fighting, it's of not going out on. Go back to a ship. I was going to say it's not going out on the sea, so. Well, oh, I mean, technically, I could still shit. be arrested. It's, it's that's the technically thing. Technically, on the water, but. It's not. It's, uh, it's if it's underground, good. there won't be high seas protectors there. Will you so... do me a favor tomorrow? Don't wake me up because I don't want to be woken up. But when I am awake, remind me to draft up that thing for you. <laughs> thing. <laughs> Just remind me about the thing, and it'll be fine. Yeah, you know the thing. He's gonna That's... get us diplomatic immunity. Oh, the th I'm not thing. getting anyone diplomatic immunity. God damn it! I want it so bad. Well, if we go take yes, the ship out onto international do. waters, don't we all get into uh, diplomatic immunity? No, that's well, no, because it's technically the high seas protectors that like patrol. So you'd need immunity with them. Yeah, but no one can own the sea. I mean, right? technically, the high seas protectors don't have any actual power, do they? They're just sort of like. Adopted they're by like the other a self-ordained like... pirate company. Yeah, but then, like, obviously, so like, you know, like regional regional state. governments are like, yeah, cool. The high seas protectors, you know, you're cool with us. We'll we'll let you do this shit. But in theory, they're like, they can't stop you. They can. It's like a, you know, they can they can turn around and be like, stop, and you can be like, no, go no. fuck yourself. Um. Well, they just uh, they definitely have the authority. Uh, they fl currently fly under the Empire's like flag, so they, they have a lot more authority than you give them credit for. Yeah, if they want to fucking Bruce sink, doesn't fucking know that shit. If they want to fucking sink your ass because you're breaking the law. They'll fucking sink your ass, and there'll be no repercussions but for also, them at all. Like, but Brooks doesn't know that. Multiple governments coming together has significant power, regardless of whether you think so or not. They've done some fucked up shit. <laughs> Anyway, Jax, I really hope you do consider coming so that inevitably when I decide to Oh, I want to go, but I definitely won't fight. Unmoor the shit. Unless, well, actually, someone am I able can... to use my gauntlets? Probably not. Shit. What? No, it's it's just... Uh... Even if you're typing, mute your mic. Right. Yeah, motherfucker. Everyone's no, voice is so delayed. A... Discord is having a fucking fit, man. It's fucking... Is it really that bad? Yeah, it's, it's it, it comes and goes, yeah. For um, everyone. No, it, it's just bare knuckles, and I actually don't know how dirty it's going to be, so we'll find out when we get there. But you know, if you've got do you need a bag of sand? sand? I have a bag of sand. What? I'll see what it's like when we get there, and whether that's on the table or not. Anyone need some sand? I don't want to. I don't want to be that one guy that's in the middle of like a clean, fair fight that goes, "Ha, huh, fuck you! I've got sand." What about the guy in a clean fair fight that goes, ha, and then a bird flies out and attacks them? I think that's worse. I think that's <laughs> probably going to get you thrown out. But what if it looks like it wasn't orchestrated? How would you do that? How would you? It's, yeah. it's a bird of water. Yeah, but oh, yeah. Hypothetically, yeah, but how are you going doesn't to look like a normal a bird, does yeah. he? Yeah. Close he's, enough. And he's big. It's not very he doesn't only have like magic runes on him and shit. Like, he's he's got markings. mark mar primal markings, but yeah. you know, it doesn't mean anything to anyone who isn't me. <laughs> anyway, what well, like, if this thing's under the deck, that probably won't work. But I can, yeah, maybe. <laughs> right. Well, anyway, at, at the very least, you can bet on the fight, so it's worth coming. Jax, I want you there so that when I unmoor the ship. Someone who Why? knows how to deal with a ship. Well, I mean, can sail it. We could definitely do that. I'm an excellent navigator. There um, you go. Weren't you a carpenter? But would we be leaving a Lazarin behind? 
Okay, Kess, first off, he was a carpenter when he started on the pirate ship for his Truth. hundred so years that he was on the pirate ship. He probably yeah, picked up a few things beside carpentry. I mean, if you want to list the skills, I can give you my resume. Um, I not only uh, am a carpenter, but I'm also a cartographer, a navigator. I do use blacksmith's tools. I can use these tools in a pinch. I tinker. I can, you know, uh, sail a ship. Do you um, understand naval And I flags also can shoot a firearm if need be. What is it? Wait, what? Oh, Repeat no. the last one. This is a, another character where it's something just that like, you definitely should, should not get your hands firearms. on. Oh, come on. Why is it? I never get anything fun. Dutch. Hello. Because there's I have a vague you. knowledge of firearms because of the sort of shit I got into Yeah. Uh, before the continent. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Like firearms, firearms aren't like... super rare anymore. They're pretty... It's not like quite common, Among but they're pretty groups, especially pirates. Pirates are definitely uh, well versed and are seen carrying firearms more often than not. Typically, like things like um, pepper boxes and stuff is what they tend to carry just on their hip. Do you have one? Someone who who genuinely wields the power of a firearm at her fingertips. You should beam death out of your hands. I do do that. It's pretty cool. <laughs> she said doo doo. <laughs> right, really so. Drink Wait. up. Who's coming? Who's staying? Elasmin's staying. Dagon's coming. No, Elasmin's coming. Come on. Elasmin's staying. Elasmin's coming. Elasmin's got a date. He he's coming, but he's not joining us. Uh, right. <laughs> Elasmin's. I, what I will, what I will he's say. He's got a date. He's just got a platonic <laughs> evening with a snake lady. What I will say. And that I'll may or may not involve sex. And I will hand. I will, Platonically. Literally Platonically. ignoring Kess. I will just hand Davion five gold, but just put a bet on for me. Don't care on who, but on something interesting. You don't, don't care on who? Bet. Don't make it a boring bet. Put it that way. Don't make it a boring bet. Stygon fighting? Yes. That's a boring Maybe. bet. Is that a bo how is that a boring bet? Brooks would be a boring bet. No. Any why is that, someone why I don't know I is what I'm saying. Yeah. Anyone I don't right. know is what I'm saying. Okay. All right. Whoever's fighting me, then, probably. <laughs> I, I you think Dagon would actually be really good at this sort of thing. She would be! I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for that stuff. It's my mission. Um, I've been in a scrap for, a, well, you know, 50 cuffs. For Don't a get me wrong, Dagon. So. I'm not gonna force you to participate, but I think you'd enjoy it. I'm just gonna sign the kiss like you could even force me if you wanted to, let's be honest. I, I'm not saying I could force you. I'm saying I'm going to... No, not you, you, not you, you idiot! Oh, who are you talking to? I don't know who you're talking to. Talking about. Because Brooks said I'm not going to force what? you, and I signed like he could even if he wanted to. Oh, okay. Now I'm caught why, up. Never mind. Why am I being gestured at? I don't know if I like this. <laughs> We're making Just demeaning comments about your shirt. Yeah, it's yeah the bad. ruffles are a little out of place today. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my shirt. It's a little out of fashion. I, I also <sighs> signed to Kess. Ask Davian how serious he was about his unmooring the boat thing, because I'm so not going if that's happening. She wants to know if you were serious about unmooring the boat, because uh, she's a cat. So if she Every ship has is a cat. forced to be The ship's out... cat. <laughs> you ever heard of yeah, Unsinkable Sam? He was aboard ever... like four different ships that all sank, and he made it. Have that you ever seen her like, chase a mouse? No. At this point, you guys keep Doesn't yapping and yapping, well. and it's about like now it's about like twenty minutes until the event starts. Listen, right. let's, let's go. If, fucking... if oh, all right, if it's really gonna upset anybody, then maybe I won't unmoor the ship. But Good. if it gets boring, or I fight, I'm well, I will be. Yeah, but if I get my ass kicked too bad, I'll probably just uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, whatever. You know, I won't. Fine, I won't unmoor the ship. Mostly because I want to see Dagon scratch on his eyes out. <laughs> Please, I don't Dagen. know if it's that sort of place, but yeah. I guess we'll find out. Not literally. Unless you... Yeah. Unless. I put the claws away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not technically tight. a weapon if it's atta attached to your body. I just I, I don't think that's how they'll see it to guess. Then that's racist, and you should complain. <laughs> Right. I don't think they'd care. <laughs> Elasrin, enjoy <laughs> your evening. And uh, mm. let's make our way to this boat then. I suppose Brooks can lead the way. 
I will lead the way to the docks. So you head your way to the docks, and you can see that there is about 20 ships all moored at uh, the docks. Um, do you remember what the ship's called? I do. I do. Brookswood. I... That was also a password. Wrong answer. I don't... I know the password. I don't it... know what the boat was called. The porcupine. Yeah. Yes. There you go. Um, so you look around, make a perception check. Who? Can I do? Can I as well? Because like can I, I also? the entire time this whole event, if I even get whiff of any law enforcement, I am out. Like fuck the party, I'm gone. I am sure. gone. <laughs> so Dag is looking for cops. I'm looking for cops specifically. <laughs> uh, I got a thirteen. Thirteen. You look around and you see one ship, uh, about about five ships in, like the row of ships to your left uh, that has a flag, uh, with like a little little little, little porcupine. I rolled a natural 20 for my perception, which is a 24. You see guards total. just kind of like patrolling uh, the mainly like near where the high sea protectors are and also where like the, the, the merchant alliance, their, 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 their structures are. A lot of guards. Other than that, no, none of them are paying any attention to any of the vessels specifically. It doesn't no, seem like any of them keep of them glancing kind of back. towards the muddy boats, talking of another fight that broke out and they're going to sort of deal with that. But uh, no, one, okay. no, no one is really... Eyeballing the ships or anything, no. Does okay. anything in particular stand out about the porcupine, or does it just look like a regular? It just looks like a, like a trade vessel. Not spiky then. No. <laughs> Tis just the name. I will lead the group up. Okay. Uh, as you approach the ship, and you, I'm assuming, like walk onto uh, the top deck. Uh, you yeah. see two um, red dragonborn approaching you. What is your business on our ship? Oh, uh, just headed over to scrub the floors. Good, follow me. And uh, one of them stays behind, one of them guides you. And you get downstairs, and um, there is this, this... It's quiet, like a, like a mouse. When you're, when you're like approaching and then suddenly you take one oh. step and you hear this just like clapping applause cheering gives you the sense that there's some kind of magical sound dampening thing going on to make sure that uh, no matter how rowdy it gets inside outside nobody hears the thing we should probably get this put on a last room <laughs> um they escort you down and they'll, they'll oh, he will say welcome to the scrapyard. Um, if you want to sign up, you'll have to speak to that man right there. And he points and he points towards another red dragonborn, wearing fine silk clothing, through a few chipped teeth, um, currently standing like on a little pedestal overlooking the circle. The way this looks is just there's this circle of people that is the crowd, and then there's just this like opening in the middle where two people are just going at it, throwing punches. And this red dragonborn is just kind of yelling over it all, just kind of like. Casting it essentially, just 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 making an That's entertaining show. show. Um, no show uh, He kind of looks in your direction and uh, just excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, while these two fine people beat the ever living crap out of each other. It seems we have some potential new contenders. We'll be right back. And he hops off his pedestal and approaches you. Good evening. Evening. We, uh... You said you said he's a red dragonborn. Yes. Right? Okay. Wearing this silk clothing, a few chipped teeth, um, yep. some scars on his face. Um, this is our uh, first time in Eldilon, but this seems to, looking at you and the people that are already here, a lot of untapped potential. Are you here to sign up for the fight? Uh, not, not all of us, but mm -hmm. I am. That is unfortunate. You are. That's um, good. Anyone else? No. Dagon, Dagon, please. Dagon, don't feel pressured if you don't want to. I ask Kess to ask if if we sign up, are we allowed to... How, how soon do we have to commit? Are we allowed to back out until right before the fight? Is that a problem? Oh, you pay up. Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, you're resigning. <laughs> Maybe he speaks Thieves' Camp. Who knows? I'll Doesn't... repeat. I'll repeat what she said. Well, it is... Um, you pay up front. Uh, right now, you pay me it's if you if you want to sign up. Um... Is a 10 gold fee, sign up as a fighter, 5 gold to spectate, and uh, prize pool uh, winner in second place. Uh, 
the prize pool gets determined depending on how many people watch, how many people put money in, and that, that basically pays for the prize pool after the crew takes their cut. Um, so you pay now, and if you decide last minute to not show up to the fight, then that's an automatic loss for you, and uh, we move on. That's fair. I'll pay okay. your fee. I just not know and I'll pay it because I signed a guess. I'm still, again, if I see one single, if I smell one single bit of a guard, I'm out. So I'd rather I lose my own money than lose yours. And I'll give 10. I'll keep right. an eye on the other side. And the whole time we're here, I will not look relaxed at any point. It's constant, like eyes darting around, sniffing. And I, I look on edge the entire time. So what is your name? This is Daigon. Daigon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Daigon the Tabaxi. Yes. And he'll, uh, he'll write that down. All right, so anyone else fighting? You yeah, you can put one name in as well. You as well. So uh, what is your name, big man? And he looks at Brooks. Mine's uh, Brooks. Brooks. All right, that'll be 10 gold, please. Brooks, Chris. Hand it over. And uh, you, sir. You also interested in signing up? Yeah. Good, what I is your name? So. <laughs> Davian. Davian. All right, very good. Uh, the rest of you, spectating? Yes. Right, yes. So. Davian, that would be 10 gold pieces for you, and the rest of you, 5 gold, please. Pass some 10 gold. Yep. All right, so now that we have uh, that settled, let me run you through the rules for both the fighting and also the betting that will inevitably take place among the crowds. Um, no weapons. You have, you're allowed to have your weapons, you know, hanging on your side or your waist uh, when you're in the crowd. When you enter the ring, so to speak, you take your weapons off, put them, or give them to your friends or whatever you do. No weapons allowed inside the ring. Second, no killing. We're not here to murder each other. This is simply a friendly brawl. If the opponent taps out, you respect that decision and you stop fighting immediately. Is that clear? Very good. Um, once everyone has signed up, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll announce the prizes officially. We still have a few minutes. You might have some late people showing up late. It is possible. Uh, no outside help. No cheating. If we spot anyone from the crowd using any form of magic or other means to help a fighter in the ring, the fighter and anyone associated with them shall be removed from the ship and banned from any future scrapyard events. Clear? Yes. Sounds fine to me. Pretty good. So, with those rules in mind, any questions? Can I just put anything. my bird up on deck with the uh, guys up there? Is that alright? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> so, it's quite a mighty bird. Out there. So no weapons. <laughs> Don't cast anything. Don't beat the shit out of the guy when he says stop. Pretty much. Is there any rules other than that? Like no below the belt hits or Absolutely not. If you want to kick him in the nuts, you kick him in the nuts. It's Fair, okay. Fine by me. Anything goes till they tap off, fine. Pretty much. As long as you don't use weapons and or any form of magic and don't get any outside help, you can do whatever you want. This is going to be fun. How? Can, well, just retro retroactively, was the time you spent in the tavern a short rest? Because I'm not, a, I'm not even sure. full yeah, health right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, so can yeah. I just use? You, you okay. spent many hours in the tavern just chilling, doing nothing. So yeah, absolutely. So uh, how 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 uh, how dirty does it normally get, or how dirty does it get? Well, that is one uh, one situation where. Um, we had to break up a fight because uh, I believe it was a Goliath decided to grab his opponent by the balls and started pulling him, and you could, uh, it was it wasn't nice. It wasn't very nice, and we had to. A man can still, you know, the bollocks intact, but it was very close. But was that against the rules? Well, no. But as it happened, the <laughs> opponent started yelling, I tap out, I yield, I yield, and the Goliath didn't give a fuck. And that's when we had to stop. That is against the rules, okay. That, okay, that's fair. I just wanted to sort of, you know, I didn't want to want to start playing or unfair if someone was then going to be like, no, that's not fair. He didn't. Well, that's fine. Know. It's not something that I would go to, you know, as, as, a, as a fellow gentleman myself. Uh, keeping, <laughs> he is not a gentleman. Keeping the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Say that loud? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's 
keeping the, uh, the, the, the prospect of potentially having children. Mm. You know, I don't want to ruin that for any man, but... Uh -huh. Davian, have you ever given it any thought? What, having, having kids? <laughs> Whether you, just on the off chance we get put together, do you, you know, potentially want to have kids in your future? Is my answer going to determine how likely you are to attack my bollocks? Because uh, <laughs> if that's the case, then oh, I'll, I was thinking of having some next week, actually. So <laughs> All right, cool. I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Both of us, if we get matched, we'll you know, keep it firmly away from the, the crown jewels. <laughs> uh, yeah. Good idea. Good idea. All I right. can't promise the same for everyone else, but... Well, feel free to mingle. There is a bar at the opposite end of this, uh, this room. Um... If you want to have some drinks, you know, some liquid courage, or just something to hydrate yourself, or, or any other means. Um, the first fight will start in approximately 10 minutes. I'm going to uh, put your names in the bracket, and uh, it's going to be randomized. So uh, there's a chance that you have to face your friends. There's a chance that you don't face your friends in the first round. I'd, it's all random. Cool. I would like to just kind of look around the room and take in how the competition's looking. Okay, make a perception check. Uh, 18. 18? Yeah. Um, you see there's definitely some people uh, like that look like they're getting ready to fight. There's one man you recognize, uh, Jorin Dragonslayer, who you also met at the WrestleArm tournament. Uh, hey. Is he um, one of the ones that I beat? Hmm? Is he one of the ones that I beat? Wasn't he yeah, it's, the, guy? it's the, uh, the the Goliath with the tribal tattoos ah. all over his face, and he was the he was the final challenger, right? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Uh, you also seen people in the crowd. Uh, you see Topsy and Turvy kind of cheering on uh, in this uh, cheering on while there's a fight going on, like a little warm up brawl, and they're just, they're just clapping and, and enjoying themselves. You also see Peter Riz among the crowd, just. Uh, with a smirk on his face, drink in his hands, just enjoying the uh, the fights. Isn't he I'm like, like, yes, <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's in with the fucking like council and shit. And... Mm -hmm. uh, and so also, he's just clearly being like, we're just not going to talk about it. It's fine. You also see, kind of in the corner of uh, of the chamber, um, leaning against the wall with a drink in hand, Siren. Oh, quick question. So, but then uh -oh. so seeing Peter Riz, he looks perfectly. Like no one looks, no one looks uncomfortable. Is he interacting with anyone? He's not. He doesn't look like he's like hiding. Like he's out in the open. Just no, he's like... standing there. He's just, he's just... Uh, okay. So it's so it's not like no. He's, he's clearly there. And knowing he's on that the this DL. is illegal, he's clearly there, and he just doesn't give us okay. the heck and who okay. Just he making sure. The just of making sure. Each other up. As soon as I spot Siren, <laughs> I'm, I'm over there. Head over. <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll follow them. She'll uh, see you approach, and immediately like a smile appears on her face, and she goes in to kind of like hug you, uh, all of you. Have you been? It. I did not know you were. Uh, you were. You were. You were back already. We just got back. Literally today. Welcome back. Um, any of you fighting, perchance? Yeah. Unfortunately. So who yes. should I not bet on? Do not Daddy, bet on. I me. raise my I... hand. I'm here to. I don't. I don't know. I. I... Maybe it'll be cathartic to have a shit kicks out of me. Hey, if that's what you're into, who are we to judge? I was gonna say the same it's thing. It's true. And and I just signed a cast. Tell her that there's that if there's a hint of a guard, I'm leaving. So don't bet on me in case I forfeit my own fight. Uh, um, I can say she's very nervous like, about guards approaching, so she might take an automatic loss if she senses any trouble. So maybe hold off on betting on her. Sounds good. Uh, and she like Elijah and you all... didn't. I was about to ask. Us, so. Yeah, uh, he's back at the friendly giant, so. Oh. S yeah. Says he's. This isn't really his scene, you know, he's seen enough of it before or something. I just signed the cast, I should tell her that means he's alone. It's a good time. We, just hand we, hand. we, we thought that you'd end up going back there to see him. We didn't think we'd see you here. I like <laughs> the idea of people beating the shit out of each other for. Me too! Moment. It's great! Yeah, me too. Well, I'm having doubts. Why is that? Well, I'm not a very 
despite my deceptive reach, <laughs> I'm not exactly the most uh, competent fist fighter. So this it's not going to be pretty. I'll tell you that much. You can always just tap out. Yeah, I'll pro I, I'll, I will most likely end up tapping out after taking a couple punches, but we'll see how it goes. You could just commit to it and stay up till you're down. <laughs> yeah, but I've also got a work thing. I've got to go to cartographers in the morning, and I don't know how it would look if I showed up black and blue. You're a mercenary. They'd probably respect you for it. Well, it's good to see you all, though. It's It's been a while, and uh, I, I've missed you. I've been busy with the temple and whatnot, but... Um... You staying at the Friendly Giant? Yes. We good to I have, uh, I have a room fun. there as well, so um, catch up sometime soon. Hopefully. Absolutely. Sure. But now I just want to enjoy drinks. It's good to see you all here and watch some people get the crap beat out of each other. Really. I'm looking forward to it. We. Uh, Jax, we just for my information. Mm -hmm. Do you look like Jax? Yes. Okay. Ooh. I'm magic to disguise myself. Oh, scary. To know. It's good to know. It's good to know. Um, can I make a little perception check? I want to look for one people with the spider web tattoo. Okay. Better with their shoulders two, out. Two for anyone that I would recognize from pirating life. Make Whether perception it be check. Like, you know. Yo ho, yo ho. Good. Uh. Plus four, so tw dirty 20. Uh, no spider tattoos, as far as you can tell. It's pretty, like, it's dimly lit room. Uh, the only real, real light is, like, there's lanterns around the uh, the inside of the ship, and it's not very great. Um, you don't recognize anyone immediately. What you do notice is that the entire crew, or the people that seem to work here, are all Red Dragonborn. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Um, at that point, let me get my bracket ready. Boom. Bracket Rex. You'll uh, yeah. hear a voice, the voice of the man that just like did your sign ups and all that stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the first round of the tournament. First matchup of the day will pit a metallic monk of a, a, a mysterious order metallic against. Metallic monk of mysterious Metal order. Our man in green, who Lord owns a quite large bird for some reason. <laughs> Davian versus Orion. Davian. Could you play, please make I... your way to the arena? Should we? Uh... Wait, wait. Is there someone? He said no weapons. Is armor okay? He said no weapons. He didn't say anything about armor. Okay, I'm gonna shed my cloak um, and pass it to Cass, but I'll keep my for leather those armor. Those that on. want to place bets, you can do it among yourselves. Uh, there's no real. Um, Betting uh, chances. It's just uh, bet among yourselves. There you go. No bookies. Shame. No bookies. It's way too official. I'm way too going official. to go and try and find someone who looks like. I'm going to try and find someone who I don't recognize but looks to be betting. Uh, you can see. Actually, make a perception check before you do anything. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you spot many people with their coin purses out, uh, kind of like discussing with each other and... Does anyone look particularly rich? Yeah, I mean, some of them, some coin purses look heftier than others. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try and find someone willing to make a large bet on Davian and I will bet against them. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! You okay. stole my plan. Uh, you, you spot one individual who uh, you're over here talking to one of his compatriots about um, well that, right, that, that guy in green surely has that tin can right? I, absolutely not. What do you want to bet on it? 20 gold? 20 gold's hardly worth the time surely. That's enough to feed my family of five for like two years. What do you mean? It's not enough. 25. Make a persuasion check. Persuasion? Yes. 13. Oh, it's going to be 20 or you can bugger off. I'll take the bet for 20 gold. Right. Anyone else betting? 
Nope. Kess is doing the exact same one. Probably not allowed to bet (laughs) against myself, right? Yeah, Kess is is doing exactly the same thing on the other side of the room with some other guy. (laughs) Just just like... Just find someone. Who are you betting on then? A Ryan, I suppose. How much? 20. If a random if guy in the crowd 20, believes I'll, in I'll me. I'll 20 on the man in green. Sure. Okay. You're on. I right. believe in me. As you <laughs> enter the ring, so to say, um, Davian, you can see... Does Onu? Uh, across... Oh, no, no Onu's up, up on the deck. No, I uh, meant does Onu believe in you? <laughs> you can see across no. from you a warforged wearing blue robes over a metallic oh, body. Oh, that's why he's metal. Faceplate is just kind of simply a horizontal, like, oh, slit. Oh, is that fair? How is this fair? What, I was supposed to punch a fucking metal man? His faceplate uh, is like a horizontal blue line for his mouth uh, and a longer horizontal line that would, would be where the eyes are. You notice that the eye line is always lit up and the mouth line only seems to light up when he's speaking. Oh, hell yeah. Um, and he yeah is ready to go and you can hear the dragonborn. So All right, we have over here Orion versus Davian. All your bets are placed. Let's get this fight going. Fuck and he'll Christ. he'll like just stomp the floor twice and uh, begin. So I would like you to roll initiative, please. Jaina yeah. versus Valir. <laughs> <laughs> I need we, uh, I need snacks for the fight. Hold on. Should we maybe maybe go get Alastrin or send word to Alastrin, or are we just gonna leave him on his own? Do you think stood up on his not date date? I mean, He'll be fine. can you contact him? Because I can't. I'm, yeah. I'm sure I could find someone that would be willing to go and get At this him point, I figure gold. he's probably been kidnapped by the spiderweb people. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, we really, we really said anymore. we wouldn't leave him alone, and then we left him alone, huh? <laughs> uh, well, if he'll be fine. Like Initiative, Duke? Uh, I got a 17. You get to go first. He'll be fine. So, hey. you, you know, the giant will look after him. How far am I from him? Uh, the ring that you're in is about 20 foot. There's like 20 feet between you and uh, and, and Orion. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, no weapons can I cast spells? He said no magic. He said the fist fight. That's what that was what the rules you got. Would they know if I used favored foe? Does it involve you making some hand gestures and much of the incantations? Let me see. Um... It simply says, when you hit a creature with an attack roll, you can mark the target as your favorite enemy. I'll allow it then. There's no... If you're not actually you'll allow a it? spell, then I'll allow it to you. It's like a feature, not really a spell, yeah. I guess. Or, or an ability. Yeah, it is. Yeah, exactly. It's the same yeah. as, like, like clearly blows. casting something, but it's just something you can do because you're a ranger. Yeah, it's not... It. Hunter's Mark has, like, verbal components, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is just... I hit someone, and then I just focus on them real hard, so... Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, well, I'll... Run the twenty feet Good. and swing a punch at the metal man. I Take guess. Man punch, Go for it. Roll attack. Channel your inner Roman reigns. It's bad. It's bad. This is gonna. Oh god. Okay, hold on. Unarmed strike. I have a plus three. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's an eight. Uh oh. It's not hits, unfortunately. Orion sees you coming and just just ducks out of the way. Anything else? Um. On I don't, I don't. I don't think I have any. Can I? Can I throw a second punch as two weapon fighting? Like, does that work? <laughs> like, I have two fists. I can't that's, throw that's two punches. No. Weapon number. In that two. case, I will. No, that's it. I could com- I could command my primal companion, but I don't think that's going to do me much good from down here. Um, as Orion dodges you, he's going for like a, for like a like a bottom of the palm, just like to your to your to your jaw. Okay. Uh, that's a twenty-two to hit. No, that yeah, I mean that's crazy that that hits. Uh, you take six points of bludgeoning damage as this just the palm just like, <laughs> oh, impacts your bottom jaw. All right, I. Will <laughs> fucking does he look strong? Um, 
hard to tell for and the way he Warforged, fights probably, but... and the way he like kind of uh, positions himself in, in 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 battle, constantly scanning you, reminds you a bit of how how Daigon tends to like kind of portrays herself or kind of like well, defensively it reminds you a lot of Daigon, So you're not sure. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna. Th I'm just for now. I'm gonna throw another punch. Okay, go for it. And that is a <laughs> twelve. It does not hit. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this 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 warforge just ducks down and, as a retort on his turn, is going to just kick you and kick you in the knee with his uh, with his right oh. leg. Oh, ow! It's rude. That's so stop with the leg stuff. <laughs> yep, that hits. <laughs> oh damn! Every weight points so much damage as he just <laughs> kicks you in the knee. All right, I swing back. Go for it. Uh, that's a natural one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. oh, what the no. is going on? I'm going to win. Davian doesn't ball. like fighting. <laughs> He'll like instinctively, he as he sees you throw the punch, kind of like catch your fist with his one oh, hand. And then on his turn, is just going to... Uh, Yikes. That's an 18 to hit, man. Yeah, you remember, sure you can does. Tap, you can tap out. <laughs> I sure can. Uh, five points of bludgeoning damage as you just get, get clocked by this like metallic fist. My retort. Mm -hmm. Oh, a 17. That hits. There you go. Hey. What do I even roll for this? I think for you, it's just your strength modifier. It's damage. one strength modifier. Is... Yeah. There's the one plus Well, modifier. wait. I, well, unarmed strike yeah, is two points of damage, but my... Yeah, what's your strength modifier? Plus one. So yeah, yeah one plus one. It's one, one plus, plus strength. One. Okay. Right. So he takes okay. two points of damage. He takes two points of damage. Okay. And a d4 for oh. my favorite foe. True. Because I have finally landed a hit. You did. Which is an extra <laughs> one point <of> Okay. <laughs> hey, he's got a hit. You got it, man. 20 <laughs> rounds and he's down. Yeah. He's gone. He kind of like steps, like kind of just like, whoop. Did not expect you to actually land a blow. And he immediately <laughs> just kind of looks at you and... Instead of swinging with like a wide punch, it's just going to like with with two fingertips. It's just going to like poke you, my asshole. And, like, very <laughs> poke you very precisely and like one of, like in between like a, two of your ribs and fucking stings. He's going mm. for your nerve cluster. Uh, that's nineteen to hit, man. Fuck me. Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Give it to me. Uh, three points of bludgeoning damage. Three points. Yep. But I keep my favorite foe up. Okay. And I swing back. Go for it. <gasps> swing and Eleven. Miss. I hate this, dude. This sucks, man. Doesn't hit, man. This sucks, dude. This I've rolled I single fight. digits. <laughs> like, eh, whatever, dude. I miss. Give it to me. <laughs> it, it, this is You're just the fucking. Guy. This is. Yeah, no, 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 no. But it's it's not just that. It's like I would be fine rolling like anything above ten and missing. Mm -hmm. But it's whenever we do anything like remotely, like oh, let's go to the fair. I lose oh, yeah. archery to the barbarian. Like, come <laughs> on, man! <laughs> uh, Give me a break. Uh, he he dodges your dodges your blow and goes to kind of just uppercut you with his with his with his left arm. But uh, that's a ten to hit. Oh, thank God! He misses. <sighs> Natural one. You're cursed. Jesus Christ. Dude, just go down. Oh. Natural one. <laughs> just tap so out. You no. swing wide. Oh my god, we both look like fools. And he ducks he ducks down and just goes to quickly just like It's getting real crowded in here. <laughs> jab you. Just like jab you in like the up. lower stomach, but you manage to just push away from him in just in time. It's your turn again. Oh. 22 to hit. That hits. For two <laughs> plus. Four, so six points. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Bludgeoning spicy. damage. One more, and you've you gone blow, to double and digits. You can hear something like in his like jaw, kind of like cracks. You can see like a small, cr small crack in like his face plate, mm. and like it's it's a little dented. And he just looks at you, and the, the fucking eye slit instead of being blue just goes red, and he just goes to oh. swing back at you. Uh oh, you made it bad. It's a natural Angry fucking boy. twenty. Dude. You can't fucking make. Let's go, dude. Oh, fucking you... rock oh, me. Oh, you're about. To <laughs> Roundhouse kick the face. Yeah, that's dude. seven points of bludgeoning damage. Not, right not terrible. Not yeah, great. For a not terrible. It's not too bad. Yeah. He is damn really right. bloody jet. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Oh, Nose 21 to hit. 
21 hits. Four points of bludgeoning damage. Four points of bludgeoning damage. Um, yeah, again, this guy takes the takes the blows. Uh, you can see his like just his metallic body can kind of dented a little bit and some some minor cracks, but he's still uh, he's still rocking it. He's still he's still going. Oh, dude, that went from a natural 16 to a natural 8, so that would be 11 to hit. That doesn't hit. There you go. Oh, God, I just dropped the die. <laughs> 18 to hit. 18 to hit. That hits. I'm chaining him. I'm chaining some blows. Go on. I'm gonna laugh. That <gasps> blows is 40 gold. Please. Five points of bludgeoning damage. Ooh, oh, no. Okay, hold on a second. He's and, looking bloodied. Oh, and I say, I say... No, there are no man. clever moves that can help you now. Oh no. <laughs> He'll like tilt his head and look at you. Are you sure about that? And he just goes to like turns around and just goes to roundhouse kick you. Yes. Ooh. The natural 19. That's a terrible comeback, though. No, he's just asking you a question. Uh six he's points poisoning damage. Six points? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. Um. Mm, okay. I mean, all all I can do, all I think I can do, is keep swinging. Yeah. Or tap. Oh. <laughs> oh. No. It's a, it's a miss. Whatever it is, it's a miss. How much was it? Like eight or something. It was a natural five. Doesn't hit. As you miss, he's going to. 12 to hit? Does not hit. Oh, there you go. So he tries oh, to just... 14? 14 just hits. Oh, yes. Okay. But he tries to like, as you miss, just quickly sneak a blow in, but you manage just pure, because you missed, you position yourself kind of weirdly, which he didn't really like calculate for. So he also misses because of that. And now he's kind of like down below and you just have this chance to just... Wow. <gasps> Five points of bludgeoning damage. Get him. Make Do not get him. Gold. Make him lose the you can, money. You can, you can hear something like snap. And he just kind of like oh! grab his shoulder and he looks at you and he just You're goes, as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I yield. He's gonna tap. I yield. Oh! And he just kind of like goes to the side. Oh, one of his one of his oh. But like, kind of just like you see like, some of the plating cracked and some oil is leaking <laughs> out. And you can see one of his like buddies kind of tending to that. What a comeback indeed! The winner of round one, Davian. Congratulations! Fuck. If you require any sort of healing, be sure to visit our uh, resident cleric in the corner over there. He'll patch you right up for the next fight. That I was round one. Be. I was gonna say there's multiple rounds though. Remember, because this is a. Mm. So a those elimination who against, tournament. Uh, lost twenty gold. <laughs> lost twenty gold. I will pay up and I Ripperonis. will say. Ripperonis. Mm -hmm. oh, fucking bots clearly not made properly. <laughs> but now that guy will feed his family for two years. So. Yeah. <laughs> not if I take all his money on the next fight. Okay. I'm gonna hobble over to the cleric. Do I just get fully healed? Yeah. Man. I had 11 HP in the end there. I was... You did. I was looking at your character sheet. Yeah. Would you have gone, like, to going down, or...? No, I think I think if I got... To single How much digits? is he doing, like... Anywhere between six, like, seven between was the highest? Damage. Yeah. Seven was on a crit, but anywhere between, like, three and six was his average. Yeah, I think if I, if I got as low as, like, seven, I, I would have tapped out, definitely. Yeah, he, he got seven hit points, and he was like, okay. I think that good. sucks with this being multiple rounds. It's like... Oh, we have to be conservative with our key point usage if you think you're going to win. I can't just blow them all. And as you win, Davi, and the crowd goes wild, Syrian starts clapping. Uh, the crowd starts cheering and chanting your name. I use my one remaining favored foe for that first round, so I have no yep, idea what yep. I'm going to do now. <laughs> second round will start in one minute, so please, Daigen and Umber, will you get ready and get to the ring? Ooh, Daigen. Daigen, you're up. I want to do one more check for guards before I go to Make the ring. Make a perception check. Uh, 21. It's all clear, as far as you can see. All right, I'll go ahead. As you uh, enter you the ring... You said the name was Umber? Umber, yeah. U-M-B-E-R. Uh, as you enter the ring, you can see across from you 
a female humanoid with, with sand-like skin, short hair made of dry rock. Um, Earth Ganassi. Um, yep. Again. You know, this seems kind of unfair, all right? <clears throat> Metal man and rock person, all right, it's dude. It's random, dude. They're people, it's random. They're just people, dude. Why They're are these all Mega Man bosses? Hang on. <laughs> um... <laughs> Fighters, are you ready for your bout? Woo! Anybody that wants to put some bets in has 30 seconds to do so. The fight will commence soon. Oh, it's fuck. Um, I'll look for someone trying to bet on the Earth Ganassi, because I'll put 20 on Diagon. Okay. So, you, you, sure. You, you play I'm going to make a little there. bet with myself. Okay. I will bet <laughs> on... I will, no, I will bet on Diagon against a Lazarus 5 gold on the... Oh! Earth okay. Interesting. <laughs> <Fair enough. That's laughs> <fucking>. What? <laughs> a Lazarin just sat in the tavern on his own, just has, like, a twang of regret for no reason. <laughs> no, he just said... It's this moment where he's just, like, wasted money. Yeah, I said it's wasted money. Wait, wait, dude, I, you said make it interesting. You said not to bet on Daigon because that would be boring. So there so you go. Oh, no. Uh, Elazan knew you. Elazan would be shocked you even bet in to just pocket it, <laughs> to be fair. Um, okay, right. that's rude. No, I'll just see if general. I can, I'll see if I can win back to. my money from that dude by betting on Daigon. Sure. Okay. I'll do the same. Don't let us down, Laura. Okay. I, have you met my mm. rules? Have <laughs> you? So with that, That's a good point, actually. the but... fight starts now. Uh, Laura, roll initiative, please. Yup. <laughs> We're starting off with the classic beach, fam. So... What did you roll? Just burn all your points um, and then tap out of the next Six. Fight. Roll the six, so that yeah. I... What is your dex modifier? A plus four. Plus four? Yeah. Okay, well, the minus plus two, so you get to, you get to go first. Hey. Wait, actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to... I'm gonna put Lazarus' money on Daigon. Okay. He said not to bet on Daigon. I know. <laughs> but when this when but when this five gold turns into ten gold, then we have a more interesting bet. So Fair. five gold on Daigon with a stranger in the sure. yeah. bottom Sounds of the good. ship. Uh before the fight starts, Umber kinda looks at you and gives you a little gives you a little bow. And then I'll braces herself back. for uh you to go first, so Go ahead and even though I don't need it for the movement, just for intimidation factor, I'm mm -hmm. gonna use my feline agility to double my speed. So I just like she blinks and I'm up in her face <laughs> and go for a, a hook. Go for it. Uh yeah. dirty twenty. That hits, yeah. Fuck him up. Oh hold on, I need to find the D4s so off out of the bottom because I still don't have a D6 martial arts type. Mm -hmm. Die. Fuck. Die. Okay, five points of bludgeoning damage. Roll the one. Five points of bludgeoning damage. Alrighty. Uh, and then I will. I will spend a key point for a flurry of blows. Oh, We're just shit. gonna try and go for a real quick, like get her really off balance real fast. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, that one didn't roll in the tray, but one of them's a natural twenty. And the other Ooh. one's a dirty twenty. Hell yes. 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 Okay. So Knock the natural. Hit, the natural shit. twenty first. And I rolled a four on the d4. So that's 12 points of bludgeoning damage oh with the God. crit. Fucking hell. And then the second one for the jab jab is six points of bludgeoning damage. She'll like look at you and you just <laughs> run up and just fucking... Hook <laughs> and the jab jab. Yeah. Uh, and, and just... She'll just like... <laughs> and just kind of like look at you, daze a little bit. <laughs> and then I just get back in boxer stance. Fists up, guard face. Now that's an opening. <laughs> and she'll just jump up and just try and just land her Ow. fist like on oh, top a of your hammer head. fist. Let's that's go. mean. Don't do it. Natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Fuck you know. God damn! I put out so much damage. I was so excited. Uh, so that is a one plus her strength modifier, which is plus three, so four points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And that's her turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, since she hit me high, we'll go go low, and I'm gonna go for like a a low kick to her stomach. Go for it, Duke. That's the oh Duke's not even here. This is his dice, and it's only rolled dirty twenties and nat twenties. It's another dirty twenty. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah. I keep rolling fourteen, and it's, I'm in my dice. plus six. I know, right? Um, so that's seven points of bludgeoning damage with the kick to her stomach. You kick her in the stomach, and. She just drops her knee and look at you. 
I've had enough. Hey! I've had enough. Let's go. I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like, what you missed? I only oh, rolled with edge. your dice, dirty twenties or nat twenties, and it's already over. <laughs> yeah, she. He's fucking, not even she listening. Her up. He didn't even care. What the I fuck? Man <laughs> doesn't even care. Man, well, fuck you too, sir. Dude, like, wow. he he, he I really... just sat down and put my fucking headphones on. I'm like trying to read whatever's going on in chat. I don't know what's I, happening. I really is just like the whole thing and you ignored me. Fine, whatever. Well, I'm sorry. Dude, dude I, really like, is like the dad that's like, I just got in from work. <laughs> yeah. Why? I, even I just sat down. I was, literally like, I was yeah. literally like, I heard Laurel one and I was like, oh, nice. And then I was just like, what is happening in chat? What, who? <laughs> it's puns and I hate it. Right. Right. Everything uh, else is just white noise. I'm I'm as sorry. As the fight ends, the crowd goes wild, and then you can hear the, the Red Dragonborn. It's potentially the fastest fight you've ever had. <laughs> That's true. That was what thir 18 seconds, 12 seconds. Literally, yeah. Literally. 12 seconds, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Congratulations, Daigon. Go get yourself patched up. Oh, but you don't look too good. You might uh, don't leak too much sand on my ship. All right. It's... <laughs> and um, I'm next so fight. tempted. Fighters, we made our combatants, money back. get ready. Yes. For the next match, potentially the most interesting match, this uh, this first round, we have Brooks Goliath. versus leader of the oh, fuck off. Hunter faction <laughs> in Eldilon. We have Prezia, Storm Snouts, and the crowd just goes, what? How do you spell his first name? Uh, her first name is uh, her, Prezia, so P-R-E-S-I-A. Storm Snout. And she's the leader of the hunters. Storm Snout. Uh, she, yeah, she got announced as the leader of the Kelvalar's Hunters faction here in Eldilon. Dope. What does she look like? She, uh, hold on, let me grab her description for you. Uh, enters the ring, uh, is a female blue dragonborn with scars on her face. Uh, most notable one scar that goes down from her temple, down to her cheek, all the way to her chin. So basically it's like all the way down here. Yeah. So um, I'm trying to cut her face off. Uh, yeah, Blue Dragonborn. That's probably hence why the name Storm Snouts is something that she uh, she carries. I'll uh, tell you what she and looks apparently, like. she's, she looks a little older. Uh, leader of the Keldar's Hunters, so you know that she definitely knows her, how to handle herself against bigger foes. We'll see how she does against uh, a foe her size. But... I'm thinking, okay, is Brooks gonna. I don't. Can Brooks rage? Davian Probably. wouldn't know. No, but I would. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what she looks like, Duke. A looks bitch. Like a bitch. Yeah, I'm just, Does it seem like coming. people are trying to bet more on Brooks now or on Prezia? Mm, make a I am check. the WrestleArm champion. Do you have That's your true. badge out? Just like, look! <laughs> I am uh, the uh, 14. 14? You overhear some people that are people definitely seem to be on Brooks' side in this uh, in this fight. All right, what's the highest person betting? The guy on crack. Like, who am I here? <laughs> who am I hearing that no one really wants to take on the bet? That's like betting. You'll four hear person. this uh, this this woman sounds a little snobby a little bit, and she'll just go around the, in asking her immediate vicinity. I put fifty gold on Prezia. Ooh. Well, I put 50 I'm gold good. on Brooks. You're on good, sir. <laughs> Brooks, fuck her up. <laughs> I am going to take off my suit jacket. Good. Okay. Oh. Roll up my sleeves. Jack's weirdly a bard now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll just hold up. Inspiration. Ah, fuck it. Davian gave his cloak to Kess, so I'll give my, my jacket to Kess. Okay. <laughs> Kess is just looking like a coat rack. <laughs> yeah, just that. Uh, just... Just sending people's jackets into the vessel. In the vessel, yeah, that's what I was them. imagining. <laughs> just, they, they, they just hold them and they just Oh my them. god, portable <laughs> coat check! <laughs> Alright. Do we get a ticket? No. As you uh, enter no. the They're, ring, uh, Prezia will look <laughs> at you and give you, give you a little nod. Alright, fighters, if everyone is ready and the bets are being placed, let us begin. Bonus shift, please. Please don't lose my 50 gold. Oh god, Make imagine. Money. No whammies. Well, whammies, no money. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut 16. the fuck up. 16, you go first. If 
cocked for that. My first one was a natural 16, but it was cocked, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to walk up and I'm going to start it off the way I intend to go the entire night. I'm going to fake a really heavy right. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as it gets close, I'm just going to drop it and go uppercut into the stomach with the left. Okay. Yeah. That is a uh, 16 to hit. Just hits. Ooh, okay. Um, that is uh, five points of bludgeoning damage. Five points of bludgeoning damage. She'll she'll anticipate the the like the like right hook and kind of prepares herself for that and just does not see you switching it up coming at all and just she just ooh, and looks at you and just goes in like with her head already being there she just winds it back up and just goes for a headbutt. Oh, no, oh, wait, no, 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 turn, no, no, turn it over. no, 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 I sorry, have a sorry, bonus sorry. action attack. You're no, 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 I'm no headbutt for you. Yeah, I'm going to see yeah. her going for that headbutt. You're partially a monk, I forgot about that. I'm going to see her going for that headbutt, and I'm going to sidestep it and elbow her in the side of the head. Go on. It's a fucking 19. It's... Nice. Uh, that's six points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. They turn? Yes, I'm not going to flurry blow. I didn't Should announce like... it before my, so... She'll like turn, and as she gets like pelted in the temple, she'll like turn, and while turning, just goes to clock you with her with her left fist. She'll probably hit. Uh, seventeen to hit. That hits. Uh, you take four points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Um, yeah, it's back to you. Okay. Um, I don't want to burn everything yet, so. I'm just going to go for a fucking straight punch to the jaw. Straight punch to the jaw, go uh, for it. Natural 17, so 22. That hits. Uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage. Ooh. And then as that hits, as my bonus action, I'm just going to, as it connects... Just twist it into an elbow strike into the side of the jaw. Go for it. Uh, fucking uh, 16. Which 16 just hits, just hits. Right? Uh, for another 5 points of bludgeoning damage. And 5 points of bludgeoning damage. Is yeah, she she's, looking bloody. she's looking bloody now. Yeah. Good. She'll like okay, look at you and you can, you can hear her kind of like her jaw back. And just spits on, spits on the ground and it's just some blood with it and she'll just like race herself and and is just going for the fucking just a straight jab on the nose okay uh 17 to hit yeah that hits yeah so straight jab on the nose you take four points of bludgeoning damage what so that's all you've got i'll we'll just stand there and let her hit me again <laughs> what? you're gonna stand there and let her, let her hit you again? yep interesting i'm not even gonna try and dodge it so this is a choice Okay. Hold on. <laughs> uh, I was just like, what do I do here? What do I? How do I take advantage of this? Like, will she? Like, I'm just determining. Will she have advantage or? No, I'm just determining whether she would do a thing oh, or she... not. Oh. I <laughs> get fucked, dude. You're about to die. Unless it does like 40 <laughs> points of damage, I'm fine. Nah, she's gonna kill you. I mean, it, technically, no one should die because the rules are everything has to be non-lethal. Yeah, but, but there are accidents. True. Yeah. Or we can Most make it look like an accident. I mean, Brooks was an accident, so. <laughs> hey. You don't know whether he was planned or not because he was adopted. So he was exactly an out of his family. You don't know that. Maybe his parents died. Mm. <laughs> to get away from him, probably. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Jail. Uh. <gasps> She'll Jeez, just look at, look at you and takes like steps back as far as she can without leaving your melee obviously and just runs at you and instead of like clocking you just like stretches her arm out and just goes for the like oh, goes she's gonna the, try and goes oh, for, for the fucking line? throats and try to fucking just <gasps> close line you so she's gonna try and close line me okay yeah. yes rainmaker this is what i signed up for <clears throat> that's an actual 19 yeah that hits. Hit. Would you would you not have a? I mean, it's not very great. Trying to dodge, like. Uh, you take seven points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Um, 
I mean, I'm not gonna say this is just flavor. I'm not gonna say that she actually like fucking close lined you and fucking knocked you knocked your ass on the floor, but she took some damage there. I'm I'm assuming that, like your she tries to and like it hits me and it hurts. It hits you and it hurts. And I just managed to like stand up. Yeah, right? pretty much. That wasn't very fucking nice. I'm gonna punch her in the throat. Go for it. <laughs> uh, natural 19. So 24 to hit. Yes. Okay, that's another six points bludgeoning damage. Okay. She's still up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna punch her in the throat again. Go on. <laughs> uh, natural 18, so 22 yep. to hit. Uh, 23 to hit. Mm -hmm. uh, for another five points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Still up. So okay. I'm trying to dislocate her trachea, dude. She looks at you, and like you can see her, she's like fatigued a little bit, like heavy breathing, uh, and just puts her fists up and just goes for just this like wild fucking swing, trying to just like hit you in the side of the head. Natural twenty. Okay. Oh. Cool. oh. I'm reading this. What am I reading here? Do, is she a if class? She's wielding any weapons or a shield, it becomes a D8 76. So you took less damage than you should have last round. Okay, because she's a. Uh, she's an unarmed uh, fighter. Yeah. Like her okay. archetype is unarmed fighting or her, her yeah, fighting style. Fighting, uh, fighting style. Yeah. Uh, so D8. Well, I took seven last round. So if you yeah. want to reroll it, that's fine. No, that's by fine. Me. That's fine. Uh, so that's six, but it wasn't that 20. So 12 plus three, so 15 points of bludgeoning damage as you just get fucking clocked on the temple. Okay. I'm officially bloodied. Just. Mm. Just. <laughs> just. Just. Uh, I'm gonna... Course. Brooks is just gonna step forward, put his hands behind the back of her head and clasp it, and mm -hmm. then pull it forward and near in the stomach. Ooh. And that's a natural Very 20. Cool. <laughs> Fucking revenge! It's I'll only a D4, I like but... It. I thought you were gonna kiss her. <laughs> <laughs> that's a 4 on the D4. So that's 8. So that's 11 points of bludgeoning damage, my good sir. 11 points of damage, she'll like, she'll like, look at you. I healed. And she just, <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty I'm just... gold, madame. God, how, how could this happen? Very just like, begrudgingly hands you your money. Oh my god. <laughs> Kess is oh, now wearing Brooks's jacket, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> like swamped in it. I'm, I'm gonna what walk over fight. to the cleric. Good job, Brooks. You you proceed to the next round. The final first round fight we have here is going to be between Topsy v Turvy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Topsy and Turvy in a trench coat against Cyrus. Yes, Yo, it. like a Pokemon <laughs> fucking duel battle. Just Iron Jaw versus Jorin, Ooh. the Dragon Slayer. And everybody's going to be that man. I'm going to wander over to um, Brooks as he's getting fixed up by the cleric. <laughs> oh, I think I'm a bit out of my depth here, Brooks. I'm not going to lie. I mean, you're all. I'll, I'll tell you now. If you heal straight away, you're going to look like a bitch. But if you take a few hits and then heal, it's fine. But you won around. That's, you know, more than three of these people can say. Uh, it seems like I've lost you and Kess a little bit of coin when I was at it. <laughs> I made it I back. I want it back. <laughs> did, you at the very least, did you at the very least bet on me? No. I, I did bet I did bet on Daigon, but uh, not with my money. Who are you going to bet on if it's me and Daigon? Flip a coin. Daigon did have the fastest round they've ever seen so that is true i was probably being a little bit too playful but yeah dogan doesn't fuck around and maybe that's maybe that's what gives her the edge you're a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a showman a little bit more uh wrapped up in the uh, theat theatrical nature of it all but dogan's just here to knock people out we'll see what happens i guess We'll see what happens. I hope it's you and Dagon first. That'll be hilarious. Well, <laughs> um, if it's you and me, I promise to be gentle with you. <laughs> 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 While uh, you guys talk and this uh, other round goes on, Jax, mm -hmm. you get approached by one of the Dragonborn crewmates. Oh, no. 
Jax is gonna get kidnapped. Excuse me. Oh I no. Uh, Name Jax. It depends who's asking. <clears throat> Captain. What does your captain need? A conversation with you, private. All right. And I'll go wherever he leads me. Uh, for this is where we find like... out that Jax's name is Jax Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> or better yet, Jax Sparrow. Shut the fuck up. I would like oh, everybody okay. to deafen. Except for a second. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I get a deafen hey, moment, before, guys. Before, we, before yes. we do, so you said, what did the person look like that approached him? Uh, just uh, the dragonborn. Like, it's one of the dragonborn staff? Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. Cool. That's not deafened, Laura. That's muted. <laughs> Jesus, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I never had uh, you get moment. escorted to an office, and inside that office, uh, the door the door swings open. You you step in. Uh, the door closes behind you. You can see a chair, but like the the back side of the chair is like facing you. You can see atop the chair, like the only thing you see is just like this elegant hat with like a big blue feather. Um, and the chair slowly slowly turns around. Someone you recognize. Kicks her feet huh. on the table. This uh, pale white skin with a blue U. Long, uh, long, like blonde hair, but with like green and blue streaks. Wearing this like elegant pirate get up. Saber or a uh, cutlass down her side. Pistol down the other. Looks at you. You recognize her. This is Captain Vera. Hey, you've been asking about me. Uh, well, I wasn't sure you survived. It's well, been... you were dead too. Close. Not there yet. How have you been? Um, been better and worse. <laughs> it's life. Been how many years? Remind me. Uh, seven or eight now, I think. It's been a while, yeah. What have you been up to then? I saw you, uh, into my ship with, um, that lot. I uh, found some companions to travel around with. Uh, they're... special, I suppose. You're quite capable. I see, uh, two of them, three of them. Well, uh, past the first round. Yes, uh, I mean, well, two of them I was very confident in, and the other... You know, he makes a good showing, but I don't think he'll make it past the second. Right. Well, I it, you know, saw you enter my ship. And, uh, Whisper on the Wind is, you've been asking about me, so I figured I'd, uh, grant you a little audience. Well, now that you're here, I do have something that might interest you. So. And I'll pull out the shard of dragon shell that Daikin gave me okay. and hand it to her. I came across uh, an egg. That's so. And might be willing to sell it to you for a price. Show it to me. Well, I don't have it here. That would be stupid. Make a de make a deception check. Wait, I don't have it here. Is it not in your bag of holding? No, it's still on oh. its way shipping. Can you make a persuasion check then? <laughs> oh, it's still shipping, right? Yeah, it's been a while. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting on it. Oh, uh, persuasion plus two, so twelve. Red dragon egg. Hmm. I'd be interested. It's a bit of a theme now. You look at my crew. They're all red dragon one. Picked them up, actually. Yes, I noticed that. That was an odd choice. Well, you know me. Not really a choice, really. I, um... Spent a couple of years shipwrecked. Got picked up. 
uh, by this crew, actually, and they recognized me and, and knew my reputation, and, um... <laughs> suddenly, that captain just accidentally stumbled and fell into a cutlass. It's crazy how that happened, and, uh, I took over. Uh, very, very dangerous things, yeah. So how about you? Pirate life just no longer... I wouldn't say no, but this group presents opportunities. Like what? Or what, what well, for one, they have a knack of getting themselves in trouble, which I, I will not do love. <laughs> um, but one does present a canny sense of tracking, and I, I have needs for him. Looking for? What are you looking for? Well, have you heard about the town that was run amok by a giant mechanical golem of sorts? Yeah, um, it wasn't too long ago, was it? No, just under a year. Port's town down the coast. I've, um, yeah, I've, I've, I've heard um, tales. Were you there? I was. It's where I ended up after the shipwreck. So you're trying to find who ruined your town? Is that going on? Sort of. I also want to study this golem. I've started tinkering with things. You know. Well, I've always been, been a bit of a crafty one. But, yeah. Well, now that you're here. I do want to take a look at that dragon egg whenever you have it on. I plan to be in right. uh, in Eldilon for the next couple of weeks. We sail, we set off two weeks from now, today. But you have a friend. Can he sense of tracking, you say? Uh, yes, he seems to be pretty good. Well, what if I told you that I found out the real cause of our shipwreck. Wait, say that again? I'd be very interested. You know, tropical storm, natural disaster, right? That's what we all thought. That's what I thought when it, when it initially happened. Uh, that's what it seemed. It's not. Was this intentional? A crew of pirates consisting of druids shunned from their circle now roam the seas, taking out their competition hiding behind enormous natural disasters which they cause. Found this out, and I plan to take him out. Get a little justice out, a little revenge. But... Say two weeks. But... In order to get back at them, and pose a threat to them with the powerful magic they possess, Searching for an artifact. I've been for a couple of years now. You know, Umberly, right? Evil sea witch deity. Pirates hey. worship out of fear. Yes, sounds familiar. A trident. Her trident. Seeking her trident, and I believe I know where it is. I so intend this... to get it. Navigate. Whatever place it is that it actually hides in, grab it, use it to take out those druidic pirates and rid the seas of a threat that isn't just a threat to us pirates, but to anyone. Really, so. Not just doing that of self-service. Might even be able to get a little payday out of it. Exactly. Oh, my fucking leg is, cr leg is cramping up. Hold on, give me a second. <laughs> oh, boy. I... This whole... Thing. Scrapyard. A little, it's a little more than that. It's a recruitment. Crew. Recruits only the most capable. Best of the best. Offer them a place among the crew for this journey ahead. But... As I ran into you here, your friends seem quite capable. 
I have, I have an offer for you. Like I said, ship leaves two weeks from now. You want? You and your friends have a spot on the crew? Find the trident? I take that. Any other treasure we find along the way, you're happy, you're, ha you're, you're, you're good to share with your friends. I won't take a cut. All I care about is that trident. We'll have to discuss it with them, of course. Of course, I don't of know course. Like I said, you have two weeks. Exactly what we're doing, but... You have two weeks. It's plenty of time. You know, it'll be fun. For all time's sake. I would enjoy Plus, going out if of the this sea is, again. Like, obviously, I don't know. I know that I don't necessarily have to convince you, but... I understand how it may look. Pirates looking for a powerful artifact to try and, you know... Spit well, we don't need to tell them you're pirates. No, I want you to tell them. Okay. But... Make sure that they're aware that I'm going to be using it to rid the seas of a threat to both pirates and any other trade vessel or sailor. Any ship is, is in danger. Trades are good. That seems to always go well with you. Those mercenary times. And don't forget to mention the fat paycheck in the form of any treasure you find along the way. That uh, definitely would not be glossed over. Um, I do have one favor then. Hmm? Don't mention the egg. They don't know I have it. What egg? All right, well, shall we see uh, who else gets the shit to beat out of them? Sounds good. I'll be down here, but um, two weeks, you leave. So be sure to get back to me before then. I'll let you know tomorrow. Sounds good. Goodbye, Jax. I will uh, bow on my way out and head back uh, to the fight. Be back, baby. Hey. Did you have pirate sex? <laughs> Jax, pirate as you sex. get back, you just see oh, quite the better. final like few seconds of that fight as uh, Yorin, the Dragon Slayer, knocks the fuck out of Jax's Iron Jaw and uh, proceeds into the next round. Um, oh, isn't that the man that that we were supposed to go speak to? That is the same man. The to. name is the same. Yeah. yeah, that is the man who also happened to put that bounty up for those null heads. True. Or the nulls. Yeah, true. But he is now taking a nap. The uh, guy who won was Yorin. <laughs> Yorin Dragon Slayer? Is that what his yeah. name? The same. The, the, the champion of the, the WrestleArm tournament uh, yep. is now going through to the, to the semifinals, actually. The former champion. The former the champion. So, Apologies. So my, my uh, potential opponents here are a monk, a monk barbarian, a Goliath. Yes. I think you have a shot. Yes. You got I want to see Davian fight Dagon so much. <laughs> Pretty uh, bad. Well, the bracket... Oh, no. ...was... It was Dictate. Yeah. The bracket now dictates that it is Davian against Dagon for the semifinal. Hey! Fuck yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the first... I'm gonna... Wait, round. wait, wait. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go to Kess. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna take the 10 gold that I made for Lazarus betting on Dagon mm -hmm. the first time. And just say, just put, just put this on Dagon. <laughs> First round concluded. Oh, really? We hard. have our semi finalists Davian, Dagon, Brooks, and Yorin Dragon Slayer. You all have a few minutes to rest, maybe have a drink, uh, mingle. First semi final of the night will be Davian versus Dagon. Fight starts in about five minutes. Get ready. Oh, God. I'm gonna sidle on over to Cass. Mm -hmm. Any words of encouragement or anything? <laughs> you don't um, have to take a fall properly, right? Cover your bollocks. <laughs> don't say things like that because if someone hears you, then I'll be kicked out. Sirin, don't, don't get Sirin thrown off at you. Everyone saw your first fight, it's fine. I think. I won. At least take a beating with some dignity. Yes. Have you considered being nice to Dayun and hoping that she won't beat the ever living shit out of you? Uh, have you? No, I'm fine with... If she beats the shit out of me, then, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, it's funny, I'm fine with her beating the shit out of you as well. <laughs> <laughs> me, on the other hand, I'm is not that, sure. Is, I'm that, so is that not what you're into, or is it just that she's not your type? Both? <laughs> 
I think both. I don't you know. Think, I'm you still think? A bit after that metal man. What did you say that you were going to do, Soko, by the way? You said Jack's going to sidle. Um... I was saddled to Kess. Yep. Ooh. And just kind of like lean down and be like, um, do you like being on a boat? I'm enjoying oh, it. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, no. Why? No, no, no. What would you think about taking a journey? No, 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 on no, one? no, no. <laughs> Where where is this idea coming from? Why why are you only telling me? I, well, it's, I'm not just not telling you. I figured I wouldn't distract Davian or Daigon, and well, I'm sure Brooks probably just wants to keep making Davian feel bad about getting his ass kicked. I mean, you're right. Where 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 would we be going? Well, I've received an interesting offer, and you know, and we'd need to set sail in two weeks. Two weeks. Hmm. But, but the payday is supposed to be quite handsome. You want us to become pirates? Well, we wouldn't be attacking other ships. We'd just be helping a pirating crew. Could we attack other ships if we wanted to? Absolutely. I'm oh, sure. I'm sure they'd be all for ask. It. Worst person. <laughs> I just. Let that idea marinate. What, like you do with, like, chicken? <laughs> yes, but with thoughts in your brain. I, I know that may not happen to you very often, you know, thoughts in your brain. Oh! But, uh, keep an open mind. Now I don't want to, because you've insulted me. <laughs> yes, but I know you're intrigued. I do really want to be a pirate. It sounds fun. We could get you a very cool hat. And like a whole, I could have like, such a cool hat. A whole like, and like a jacket. robe set up and jacket. Oh. And you could get the boots. Oh, yeah. And maybe even a cutlass. I have no rusty one, a cutlass. Oh, and maybe Davian could tame your parrot. <laughs> like, and it would like sit on my shoulder and screech and things it, at other people. Yes, maybe you could teach it to say, uh, oh, no. Brooks, you're an idiot. Or, uh, <laughs> Fuck off, Brooks. Davian got hit in the bollocks. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds really fun. Fucking hell. I'm on board. Oh, <laughs> get it? She's on board, get it? The ship. <laughs> maybe we could even make <laughs> some walk the plank. <sighs> like maybe Brooks. Or Lazarin! We could get Lazarin to walk the plank? That'd be fun. I am all for it. <laughs> I feel so bad for Koi, but he's not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't you miss this session, Koi? <laughs> <laughs> and and Siren hasn't even showed up, so Lazarus. You got stood up. Like not day, day. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, we all know he's busy. You know like... why? It's because he made it such a big deal. I bet you if he'd been like into it, Dutch would have been like, okay, no, bet. And Siren would have been there. Was be Shush, Dutch, no, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. We all know that he's from a, the We all know he's Siren. currently Siren. three glasses Siren. of Siren. wine deep with talks. pleasure. Like, nobody, what? Nobody reached out to Siren. She was just like, oh, fight night, yeah, I'm there. <laughs> we <laughs> all know that Lazarin is currently three glasses of wine deep in a conversation with pleasure. No, we we all know that. You just assume that Lazarus is staying in the friendly giant and yeah, just we'll get to, we'll get to fuck that. off we'll as well. In a, in a sec. He's hanging out in the carafe amongst his own people. <laughs> yeah, but, um, he went to drink with the bougie yeah, boys. Lean back and Imagine using the and then... Davian, Daigon. Yes. It's about, yeah. it's about that time. Getting it, stepping into the ring. Like for you both to roll initiative as uh, the dragonborn. Shit, one, one. It was a one. It was a one. Did anyone get Davian's will before? I mean, he finally I... numbered one. Dagon versus Davian. Again. Yeah, cool. I'll I'll be the first to throw a punch that will miss and then fucking get <laughs> murdered. Twenty-five. Eight. There you go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Initiative is not my bag. <laughs> well, so this fighting isn't mine, so. <laughs> Not Davy, you, you get to go first. Yes. Do we need to play this out, or do we just assume and move on? That's rude. <laughs> that, is rude. <laughs> that is rude. <laughs> it's all down to dice. This is all a game of chance, you know. Yeah. I know that. However, shut up. <laughs> Plus RP. For okay. all you know, maybe I'll let him win. You don't. Know. True. Oh, 
Uh, as the uh, as the the One start hit. of the fight is sounded and I make the first move, <laughs> up the I'm just <laughs> I just turn around and run away. <laughs> no. Yeah, uh, well, I'm good. That, she is the worst person to run from. True, she off, the, off the mark, fast <laughs> as I can, and just like dive to tackle Daigon and grapple her. Okay. Uh, oh, make no. an athletics check and. Can I get acrobatics, right? Athletics or acrobatics, yeah. No. Yeah, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> 11. 24. You run up to Daigon and try to tackle her, but she just manages to just wiggle herself out. and now Can I at least turn it into a semi-good-looking dive roll? Yeah, definitely, but the, uh, the you know, the agility that this monk possesses... Oh, yeah, I, uh, so understandable. ...easily, like, squeeze out and manages to now be behind you. I roll and get back to my feet quick as I can, and cuss a little bit, just... <laughs> yeah. so Embrace behind, myself. You are now, when you wiggled yourself out, you're now behind yeah. Davian. What do you do? Yeah. I'm behind mm. Davian? But you're, you're look. But no, I can't be behind you for looking at me. Dumb question. Um, I'm just still okay. getting back to my feet. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go for again, not like the low like kick to something, but like almost like hands on the ground and like stick leg out and kick him and try and knock him down and like kick his legs out from under him. Okay. You can attack. Uh, ooh, sixteen. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that hits. Hey. That hits. All right. Um. Five points of bludgeoning damage. Okay, not terrible, not terrible. Is that a turn Just gonna. F uh, and then I'll go for um, <laughs> getting back don't up don't because I get the bonus. Of my so I swing out for the kick to try and knock him off balance. I'm guessing it doesn't work. He doesn't fall prone or anything. But then as I get back up again quickly, like arm comes out for a jab as I get back up. That's not roll a d4 to hit. That would suck. <laughs> That's another 16 to hit. Cool, man. <laughs> this time you take eight points of bludgeoning damage as I get that. Holy back. fuck! <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> okay. And then I just get um... back into defense stance. I'm not doing like key point patient defense. I'm just like getting into regular old, just looking mm -hmm. like bring it. So I just, I just want to land one hit. Just <laughs> one, one hit. hit, please. I believe in miracles. Nine. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh. <sighs> That's it. That's my turn. <laughs> Uh, okay. I'm trying to do things that aren't gonna be like, I'm not going for like super shitty blows. I was gonna keep going for, I guess, like punches to his like, like peck chest. I was like, when wrestlers do the chops, I know it'll hurt him the least because you, in theory, have the most like muscle there. Um, first one, I rolled the same number three times. That's a 16 to hit again for the first one. Yeah, it hits. Uh, yeah, yeah 16. Uh, hits. I didn't roll that in the dice. Try. Uh, for seven points of bludgeoning damage. Oh my <laughs> lord. And I then... am bloodied. <laughs> and then the second one, so like again, like jab, jab to like one on each peck almost. Uh, ooh, that's a 23 to hit. <laughs> Just about. And that's another six points of bludgeoning damage. Damn. I'm gonna start a little chant in the crowd. <laughs> die again, die again. Die again. A couple times, and eventually the crowd is like, <laughs> "Die again, die again, die again, die again." From from a, a winded uh, downturn pose, I'm just gonna throw one uppercut and pray. I'm gonna <laughs> let him hit me. The one. Okay. Uppercut. Oh. Okay. Because that is a twelve to hit. Because I, I'm not yeah. allowed to roll single digits when we're doing it's anything fine. outside of combat. I will, but, uh, I will. I'm not gonna make it look obvious. I let him, but like I'm gonna. Well, uh, should I'm I roll with advantage him. or just? Sure, roll with advantage. I don't want to make like, it look obvious, like, but I want to give him more of a chance. You'll swing at her, but because she's very quick to determine where your fist is going to land, she'll like make it look like she's dodging, but actually like dodges into you. And just yeah, catch. Like, like, like yeah, like I just cat, misgaged. Because like in boxing, you kind of have to predict where they're going to go, and then sometimes. So it's like I just predicted yeah. wrong where he was going to so you Wonderful. Your, your next blow <laughs> does does connect with her with her head. Or and I'll, and I'll play up, two points. And, I, and I play up the impact of it. Like, uh, like, rub the area where it hits and look like... Look, ouch. Hold two points of bludgeoning damage uh, to Daigon, and... <laughs> that, yep, yeah, that'll... That'll that'll do it. That'll Aww. do it. 
poor Davian. <laughs> as as you hit Daigon, you can hear part of the crowd go, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's on Daigon. All right, this time I'm gonna. Here it comes. Here it comes. You describe something cool. It's not gonna happen. Uh, now because the crowd made the noise, I'm like, okay, well, I want him to get a hit, but now I want to look cool again. I'm gonna do the thing where they kind of like jump up and do the double kick in the air before landing back on their feet. Okay. Is the attempt. Dude, I'm oh, gone, okay. dude. 19, 19 uh, yeah, to hit I'm for gone. the first I'm one. Just... Yep. Oh, not in the tray. And same thing, 19 to hit both for both Jesus. of them. So the first kick is five points of bludgeoning damage, and the There's second a kick. Chance. The second kick is seven points of bludgeoning damage. Nope, unconscious. Exactly. <laughs> unconscious. Just, just jump up and Davian just looks at you and you can see his eyes are starting to roll to like roll over. Without just, flexing a single key point, maybe saving yeah, those. Yeah, we talk about how I actually just wild. get shit on if every time we try and do something fun. I roll single digits consistently. Yeah, it's, yeah it's look like, at the archery comp. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, coach. not just the archery comp, but everything we did on that day, I just ate ass. You really did. <laughs> yeah, you're cursed. I, I'm not saying I can hold a candle to anyone in these semifinals, but at least a one punch could have landed. Like, you I did, did not yeah. land you a did single land one punch. Jasmine and Sage in your room, the dude. one punch I landed was... If it makes you feel any better, the dice has been rolling so well for me all day, bar initiative, is the dice you got me. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> you Wonderful. I mean, Davian just my old race. Get let him, him hit. to his feet and get him to the clinic. Next <laughs> fight, fighters get ready. It will be Brooks versus Yorick Dragon Slayer for the second semi final. And with that, Daigon, congratulations. You are our first finalist. Get yourself ready. I have to pee again really bad, so I'll be back. <laughs> you can do that. Uh, yeah, so Brooks, you again. Once again, go. face Yorick Dragon Slayer. Last time it was in a game of Wrestle Arm. This time, it's in a proper fucking in a game of beating the shit. I'm out here, like it... I, I've got to go up against this fucking monster. Is it Yorick? And Dagon Yorin... just got to beat up Davian for a free pass into. Wait, the... no, it's Yorin. I'm super. It's Yorin. 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 Yeah, Yorin. it's Yorin. Yorin. So I Yorin. thought. My bad. Uh, you, you. He looks at you. Took my title last time. Oh, he's it's personal. There's no title to win this time, so you're fine. Gotta feel satisfying, though. Mm, is it? I didn't realize it could feel satisfying to lose, but sure, I believe you. Oh. And uh, he'll he'll <laughs> look at you, and you can see him just just tensing up. Uh, I can't wait for him to break the rules. Um, fighters, get ready. Begin. Roll initiative. Ah, oh, that's cocked. Fucking 20. Uh... Timeline's press is just like pinning the badge from Wrestle Arms to Brooks's jacket. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> she found it's, it in his uh... pocket. No, you poked a hole in it. It's an 18 Thanks. initiative. You got to go first. And okay. I wouldn't commend it. Uh, I'm a do what I do and punch the man. Go for it. Uh, fucking dirty 20. 20 hits. Uh, six points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And follow it up with a knee to the side. That is. Ooh, that's a nine. That doesn't hit. That doesn't hit, no. Alright, so you fucking jab him, and he just kind of like steps back, and you go for the side, the side hit, but he manages to kind of like put his hand down and kind of like kind of catch it. And he just looks at you. Princess he kind of cracks his uh, cracks his neck, and you can look at him and you recognize what he's doing. You can see him like just like his his face he's gonna rage, isn't starts he? to go a little red. His eyes just fixated on you, and he just winds up this long arch and just launches his fist at you at incredible fucking velocity. It's a sixteen plus four to hit, so dirty twenty. Okay, uh, yeah, that hits. <clears throat> How big is this arena, by the way? Give me just a sec. Hold on. Give me just a quick, just a quick second. Just quickly so fact check across, something. Then. Cool. Like 20 feet across, yeah. Just give me two seconds. Cool. Um. Boom. I don't like this. I just gotta make sure that, uh... It's 
fucking shit. Boom, boom. This website always takes forever to fucking load, and I didn't have it open. <laughs> just like it's boom, 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 lit. boom. There we go. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so he just j fucking punches the fuck out of you. You take five points of uh, bludgeoning damage. But, okay. Mm. Trying to go to the range, I think. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So he's gonna make another Thank attack. Thank you. With bonus bonus action. action as well. So he's gonna go for bonus action. It's oh. another fucking swing. I really wish I'd got fucking Davian, to be honest. That's a 22 to hit. Yeah. So another five points. Another five points of resources uh, on this shit. And it is your okay. turn. Um. I mean, I'm gonna hit him. Mm -hmm. It's a day 20 again. Dirty 20? Yep. Uh, that hits you. Absolutely. Seven points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hit him again. Who for that? It's a 17. 17 hits. Another seven points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. So that turn I did seven points. Or six. Yeah. Oh yeah, because fucking both of them get rounded down. Yep. Hit stains. But it's something. He looks at you and he, he can kind of like, he, he wipes some blood from the corner of his mouth and it's just almost just like walks up to you and you can see him just wind up this like, this, this, this headbutt and it's... Uh, that's 21 to hit, man. If we'd rested, this would be a totally different fight. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, five points of bludgeoning damage. Cool. And bonus action, he's going to try and fucking jab you. That's a 10 to hit. Okay, that doesn't hit. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm uh, just gonna go for two punches to the ribs. Okay. Uh, fifteen. Just no, actually, no, it hits. That hits. Never mind. Cool. Uh, six points after three. Mm-hmm. Uh, another fifteen. Hits. Uh, another fucking six points. Okay. All right. Uh, his turn again, and he's just going to fucking try and kick you, just like, like high kick, just in the chest. Uh, fourteen to hit. No. Yeah, there you go. I need Dutch to roll bad, otherwise I don't think I can win uh, this. That's a ten to hit, so he misses both attacks this round. Perfect. Nice. Uh, just gonna... Is he bloodied yet? I'm no. assuming not. Okay. Uh, first attack is a twenty-two. Yup. Second is a 24. Yep. I'm burning through these now because yeah, that's fine. I want to get this fight fucking done. <laughs> uh, uh, seven points in the first one. Okay. Uh, six points in the second. Alrighty. That's my goal. Yeah, and he's going to roll his attacks. Uh, one is a 14 to hit, one is an 11 to hit. No. Man. Perfect. I'm just gonna keep fucking dodging, baby! The turns of <laughs> Uh, natural 20 and a dirty 21. Ooh, okay. Dirty 21. Natural 20 first. <laughs> 4, double to 8, plus 11 on the first one. Okay. And then the not crit is 6. Looking bloodied. Thank fuck for that! He's looking bloodied. He's about to put me on this. Uh, that's an, a 12 to hit. Nope. 16 to hit? Yes. Alright, I uh, have 5 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. It's your turn. I'm still looking okay. Uh, that's one of those is a 9, the other's a 17. 17 hits. Uh, 5 points of bludgeoning. Okay. 16 to hit? Yep. Natural 20. Oh, it doesn't matter because he doesn't roll a damage die. So it's just 10 points of bludgeoning damage total for both hit, like for okay. total. So 10 points of damage. Cool. I'm bloodied. That hurt. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, 20 and a 22. Not natural. Hell yeah. Uh, 6 and 4. 6 and 4. Okay. He's gonna look at you. He's going to run, run like, around you. And while mm -hmm. he's by your side, he's going to try and grab your head. And he's just gonna fucking <laughs> try and just, like, jump down Ooh. to the floor and take okay. you with him. Suplex. So is he trying to grapple me or Let's just go. beating the shit out of me? He is He's trying to, to grapple you with that. Okay. It's not actually a suplex. That's called a suplex. Uh, do I need to make athletics or acrobatics? Acrobatics? Yeah. Uh, athletics yeah. or acrobatics, yeah. And he gets advantage because he's raging. Mm -hmm. I need this to be a good roll. I need this to be a good roll. Dirty 20? 16. Fuck for that. So you managed to just push him off of you before he uh, like drops down and he just quickly turns to face you. It's your turn. Uh, uh, no, that counts as an attack, attack action. So yeah, that count counts as an attack, so we can bonus action. Yeah, so attack. bonus action, he's just gonna piss that it's not that it didn't work and he's just gonna fucking try and uppercut you. Cool. Uh dirty twenty. Yeah. Another five points of damage. Okay. Uh Getting close. I'm gonna do my first one first. Who's it gonna uh, be? 23 to hit. It's. Uh, uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage. Ow. Okay. How rough is he looking? Very. Do I get the impression that one more punch would do it if it's a good damage roll? You have no fucking idea. <laughs> um, I might have to flurry blows here because I can't take two more attacks. I go down. Do it. But then I, I'm also burning shit that I'm gonna need. Do it. Do it. It's up to you, man. You Do you wanna make it there? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna flurry blows. Okay, flurry blows. Yeah. Uh that's a sixteen and a twenty-three. Both hit. So another uh seven and then a five. Twelve total. Yeah, but it won't be. Oh yeah, because rage. He looks at you, to... and he, he, his movement is wobbly. Oh, you tapping out? And he's just gonna <laughs> fucking. I need Dutch to miss one of these. Two with both of his fists, it's just going to fucking <laughs> just fucking Ooh. cannonball your fucking chest. It's a natural two on the first attack. Oh. I I don't go down. And that is a sixteen on the second attack. So five that points hits. damage. So five. Okay. Uh, first attack. 15. It's... Thank God for that. Uh, that's the lowest it could have been. Four points. Four points? It's not After down two. yet. It's not down yet. Oh, oh no. no! I'm not using another flurry of blows. If I go out oh, here, you know I go you out want here. to. You know you no, want to. Come on. You got an you easy pass to, into the bro. fucking <laughs> finale. Don't. Uh, well, only because I also 19. had to use nothing on my first one. Uh, six points of bludgeoning damage. How do you want to finish him hey. off? Hey. When he says he's not going to go down. What? When he says he's not going to tap out, he's mm -hmm. not going to... I'm just going to... I'm going to wait for him to swing at me. And as he swings, I'm just going to wrap my arms around, like, his waist. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to, like, heft him up. And then just plant him down on the ground. And, and hit it down do hard enough that he goes out. You just hear everyone in the crowd go, because that looked fucking painful. And um, the dragonborn in the stand just yells, Ladies and gentlemen, we have our winner, Brooks, second finalist. So, combatants, get ready for the final between Daigon and Brooks. Arrive together, friends. But now, one is <laughs> going to have to beat the absolute shit out of the other. Let's get another drink. I'm thirsty as well. Fight starts in five minutes. Gonna spit some blood out on the floor of the ring and limp out. I have four. Yeah, is out cold. I like Brooks is like dragging one leg. Like, <laughs> is is Davian up now because he's been healed? He's just somewhere. yeah. I'm, like, I'm just I'm just uh, sitting with the with the cleric. I'm I just write a note to you like uh, like I was kind of, I was hoping you would tap. I hope you're okay. That was the plan. I think I still had, you know, a few, a few marbles bouncing around in there before that kick. But um, 
wasn't really time after that, so okay. it's fine. It's fine. I mean, I'm I'm all right. I you know I was unconscious, didn't feel anything, and now I'm fine again. So <laughs> if anything, you save me a bit of suffering. Oh fuck! Oh, I need to go talk to Kess. <laughs> I'm just gonna just gonna walk my way over to over to Kess and uh. You're uh, right. <clears throat> I'll go with you to Kess also because I want to tell her something afterward, but you go first. So, you've got, tw you got 20 gold for me? Oh, I just pocketed it. Oh, that's crazy. Can I have it now, please? No. <laughs> no? No? You don't think so? <laughs> I'll give yeah, Debbie in 20 gold. I'll take fucking 20 gold from my uh, bag. <laughs> <laughs> now, Kess, I believe I've, you know, it's I had to place money. a bet. <laughs> hmm? You, you, you know, I had you place that bet, so I'll, I'll take, I'll take twenty gold. On what? What bet? It's a bet on Dagon. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Just gonna sign to Kess. Remember the conversation earlier. You're like, what What have I done? So that's like, untrustworthy. what have I done? That's insert negative adjective here. And then just go like this. I'm just going to lean over a little bit. You know, if we do go out to see the Jax, mm -hmm. I could easily you turn know. on you into a parrot. He didn't tell you Yeah, that. wasn't I, I there? Wasn't shit. I right there for that? Like, yeah. no, I yeah. told yeah. just only, Kess, only Kess no one there. else. Because you were about to get ready to fight. Oh, okay, fair enough. Well, in that case, I will just lean on the bar and fucking be mad. Because Kess is <laughs> insufferable. Well, I'll, I'll hand I, over. All you I'll need to do is make some shit tea. I'm just assigned to guess, well, if you were going to pay him, now I kind of want my gold. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm rich. <laughs> Fuck's sake. God. Um, you're rich? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, it is the Lazarus. I suppose, yeah. Well, he doesn't. Yeah, know doesn't know that. As far as Lazarin is concerned, yeah. he lost. You lost. Oh yeah, I have hundred percent. I just assumed that money went straight away. Like I <laughs> went on drinks or some shit. Like it, that money did not get bad. Alrighty. Uh, Alrighty, are you trying to bet on uh, Brooks? Because I'll, I'll I'll take a bet on Dagon. I'm already I'm drinking his Brooks. port, so I feel kind of bad. I don't. I feel like... Although, to be honest, this port is like... It burns. <laughs> I don't like it. Port that burns? That, that's... that doesn't sound right. You want to try it? It's like sure. this little bottle. I found it in his jacket and it hurts. Wait, what? <laughs> there is a small bottle of what looks and smells like port in Brooks's jacket that Kess is currently wearing. Is there a label? What looks and smells nope. like... <laughs> it looks like port. <laughs> but not. But you drank it. this. A little bit. And then it, the labelless it mystery me. liquid from inside Brooks's jacket. Does it just smell I just like fuel? It was booze. That's how you um, tell us. I mean, is Davian opening it? Absolutely not. <laughs> then you have no idea what it smells like. No. I'll, I'll, I'll be like, uh, uh, pass can it I here? Can I try it without oh. opening it, but just with my extra like sense of smell? Can I just I say, try I'll and smell it. with it's closed? Oh, the minute you open it, not from a distance, I'll just like sniff the air and see what it smells like. Yeah, it's a sealed bottle, so. Yeah. Well, it's not sealed because Kess opened it. It's a, it's a bottle it. with a lid on. You're opening it? Yeah, yeah. Jack's opening it. It does smell like port, but it also burns all the hairs up in your nose. <laughs> like that kind of sensation. Shitty port. I'm not sure this is consumable. I already started consuming it, so I hope it is. <laughs> I'm sure if you only had a little bit, you'll be fine. Mm. Just keep it that way, probably. Yeah, but... He might be bad if I drink more, and that'll be fun. I'm just gonna seal it back up and pocket it. You could make him just as mad pouring it away. No, I don't know what it is. It. So if I keep drinking it, eventually I'll learn. You'll well, learn. You'll, actually, learn. You'll just learn what it is, right? Actually, Jax has done sailor shit. You've drank yeah. a lot of port. I gotta quickly go... Just... Yeah. Ten seconds. We'll it's, just talk amongst going. ourselves. Keep, keep going. <laughs> it's basically port. It's just been like... Double like fermented or something. something else. Else. No, like, it's basically port. Just been like 
something strong has been added and it's been like double for a minute. It's port with a shot of it, something. It's port if you it's hate port yourself. With, ha with no, habanero but, sauce. Port is port is a wine with a shot of something in it. It's a fortified wine, right? Yeah, it's a fortified wine that has yeah, then been topped up with something like it's just really or alcohol or yeah, absinthe or moonshine. Yeah. Probably moonshine and, if it burns the fucking hairs off my nose. God damn. Can I it's, have it back, please? It's poor for no. people that have no self-preservation. Why, Why am I not allowed it back? Stop. It's not even my, it's not even yours. Oh we my. already have too many no, drinks in this party. Uh, we have Brooks oh, and we have on. me. Uh, we don't need more. We're, the We're not doing party. anything. I'm not even fighting. <laughs> exactly. You should keep your wits about you. Oh, that's Go so find boring. yourself a parrot. No. <laughs> I'm not the one who's going to tame the parrot. Oh, that's that's should we need to do that. Why would I tame Davian, a parrot? we need you to tr tame a parrot. Yeah. Why? Because Kiss wants to dress up like a pirate. pirate. Well, we've got to become pirates, right? Isn't that the plan? I, I would hope so, but... As much as I'd love to see Kess dressed up as a pirate, because, I mean, who wouldn't? What is the purpose? <laughs> are, are you into that sort of thing? <laughs> is this something it's a good look. I don't think anyone would deny that. <laughs> Davian's bisexual, me. confirmed, because all bisexuals love pirates. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> We're just talking about Daddy wanting to see Cass in a pirate cosplay, it's fine. How long does it take Cleric to heal me? No one. I'll wander back over. Hey! Right. You're alright. Um, I don't Brooks, okay. two minutes. Brooks, how confident do you feel? I put on a really creepy smile as he says that. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, I think it's fairly evenly matched. If we had a fuller day of rest, in the politest way don't. possible, I reckon I would beat Tar out of you, but... I just snort. <laughs> I drank some okay. of your port, by the way. Whatever our winnings are. Just so you know. Oh, that was a bad idea. Whatever <laughs> our winnings are, Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> whoever, win whoever wins, I want a rematch. On a day when we're both fully rested, and we'll do all in earthing. Because first and second give winnings, right? So if you come first, it's a chance to win more money. I'll, That's what she said. I'll sign to Kess. I'll do the rematch, but I don't, I'm don't. i keeping my money. <laughs> 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 no bets. Dagon, Dagon says she doesn't need the incentive, so she'll keep the money. That's but fine. I'll do it for pride. I mean, yeah. I guess? That's what I said. I'm going to uh, <laughs> find someone... You think you're you drank the pork Brooks. Just a little bit, you're, and then it hurt. What? That's I'm willing to bet on Brooks so that I can bet on Diagon. You walk past. Not it's just a conversation. You. All right, and that big fella's got her. All right. Oh, I'll put fifteen gold on the tall cat. Fifteen gold. Oh, I put fifteen gold yep. on uh, the big guy. All right, sounds good. Having had the shit kicked out of me by said cat, I, I can vouch. <clears throat> oh, oh, so, but uh, I mean, I, I, I would have been with you until he just kicked the shit out of Dragon Slayer in that in that round. That's something that wow. I didn't expect. So now he's, he's got me full trust. But uh, Dagon did have one of the quickest fights we've ever seen uh, earlier. So <laughs> I'm making me not want to bet on Brooks, man. and you're ruining your own bet with that. You, you are way right. I just like a bit. It's just, it's just a bit of banter. You've got your fighter, I've got mine. What, what? You, you can push it out if you want. I'll find someone else. Nah, it's all good. Right. All right, fighters, get ready. Get to the ring. We fight the finale of Eldilon's first ever scrapyard. It's about to begin. Let's go. As you enter the ring, there's like. It's about a 50-50 split. Half the crowd just goes, Brooks, Brooks, Brooks. And the other half just goes, Daigon, Daigon, Daigon. I'm cheering for Daigon. Fighters. Fuck you. Just going, you both ready? <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin. Ducks, both ducks, of you, ducks. <laughs> both of you roll initiative. Big money. No whammies. Good luck. Whammy. It's my, my classic initiative roll, but I'll happily get out the low digit here. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a 21. <laughs> No, that's a, a nine. <laughs> so, Brooks, you get to go, Standard. Go, you get to go first. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna walk forward. 
I'm gonna use my attack to make a grapple attack. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna roll athletics, and then I'm assuming Dagon's gonna roll acrobatics. Yeah, it wasn't great. Seventeen. Thirteen. So you now have Dagon grappled. Ooh. And because that's considered an attack, I can use my bonus action to punch her. Go for it. Uh, Please miss 22. while grappling me. Oh, that'd be funny. Yeah. I don't. I mean, <laughs> grappling doesn't, miss doesn't, doesn't give me any. Me. Grappling doesn't give me any advantage or anything. So it just could just be that I can't get enough like movement to. Yeah. Um, but that's a twenty-two. Yeah. yeah. For uh, six points. Damage. Of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> All right. Okay. Are you just like grappling like you're like you're behind? I'm just gonna like, like wrap. Back and like, I'm gonna like yeah. I just wrap okay. my arms around Dagon. Then I'm gonna go to escape wait, a grapple. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, I hold make on, an hold acrobatic on. check as my action. Wait, it one second, action. one second. What's up? Brooks grappled and then punched. Yes, yeah. it's grapple, a grapple, uh, grapple is a form of attack, which means as a monk I can then bonus action attack. You have to use an unarmed strike or a monk weapon to bonus action attack. Nope. It's I'm literally reading the rules. I, I can tell you it's on when my When you sheet. use the attack action with an unarmed strike or yes, a monk a weapon. a grapple replaces an attack in the attack action. But that's not an unarmed strike. You have to make an attack with an unarmed strike. It's, it's there specifically. Do, 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 do. I well, was literally unarmed. just reading this because I was I like, do... how the fuck did Daigon get two punches every round? I thought you used key points or something. But no, you nope. can punch twice, but, but you have to make an unarmed once. strike. Yeah, yeah. And then... no, do, 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 do. Let me pull up the rules on this because... I I'm, looking at the look I'm yeah. pulling the rules up because I spent ages looking at this. <laughs> when you use the attack action, does it not say you take it, it says specifically the attack, capital A, action. No, no, no. Attack action strike, with an unarmed strike or a monk yeah, weapon. That's the part that matters. Grapple might be an attack action. As a bonus action. Grapple might be an attack action, but it's not an unarmed strike or a monk yeah. weapon. Yeah. It's specifically an attack of a certain method, not just any attack action. It's considered a special action, melee attack. Monk weapon on your turn, you can make, yeah, I mean, it says it there. With an unarmed strike or a monk weapon, and a grapple is neither. And of a them. grapple is neither of those things. Yeah. No, I say that ruling Damn. wise. DM right. has spoken. Because you're not making an attack with an unarmed strike or a, a monk weapon. You're grappling. I hate being a stickler. It's just I had those rules open because I was wondering how I got the shit beaten out of me so fucking quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna flurry of blows then. Yeah, you can spend the key point and then do flurry. I can spend the key point, which says yeah. when you take yeah, the attack yeah, yeah. action. Yeah, you can do that. That's for sure. So then that first one still so sticks. So the six, the six damage still sticks. You're just taking a second one now. Okay. Yeah. That's why I was confused because you can flurry blows after it. You can't. Yeah, yeah, that's different. Because the bonus action single strike doesn't cost a key point. Twenty three so to specific. hit. Yeah, that is. Low roll, four points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Ready. I can, so, to escape grapples? a grapple is an action, and I roll an acrobatics or an athletics check? Yes. Yes. Okay. Keep in I'm mind gonna try. That while grappled, you can still just try. Does grapple give her disadvantage on attacks? Or nope. No? The only thing that changes like her normal, movement is zero. Being held by him, so like, if that matters at all. Yeah. Like, a grapple doesn't impose any disadvantage on you when you're trying to attack him. Yeah, yeah. It's only moving. You know what? Then fuck it. I'm just gonna stay here, and I'm gonna do um, mirroring him's like a back elbow nice. for the first hit. Like elbowing him in the head, and that's a nineteen to hit. Yep. Uh, for five points of bludgeoning damage. There you go. Yep. And then I'm just gonna copy you. I'm stuck here. Whatever. Flurry of blows, and I'm gonna <laughs> do um another elbow, and then bring my foot up and do a back kick and try and kick him in the groin. Ooh. Okay. So the first really elbow. Going for the, dick. the first elbow is a fifteen to hit. Uh, no. Okay. And then the kick to the groin is a dirty 20. Yeah. <laughs> the most important one hit, that's all it A yeah. very dirty 20. <laughs> that's all um, oh, it It's going to hurt. Everyone's going to wince. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a seven points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> and not for any damage, because I'm not enough to make it hurtly, but just for flavor. Being like, fuck you, maybe I want to be here. I'm going to then like grab on to one of the arms grappling me and just sink my claws in a little bit, just so you feel them. Not enough to like go in, cause blood puncture, but you feel them. Brooks is weirdly aroused. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, weirdly? <laughs> That's my turn. That's funny. <laughs> All right, Brooks. <laughs> really was a nice. Brooks is using weapon. I'm going to sweep uh, Dagon's legs out from under and make a shove attack. Okay. It's the same as grapple, contested, acrobatics, or athletics. Okay. Yeah, but if she uh, was, she's prone, right? 
I'm not. If if you succeed, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a uh, twenty-four. <laughs> ah, seventeen. Okay, you are prone. You are restrained. Your movement is zero. Okay. And I'm gonna flurry blows. Shit. So on the one uh, hand, keep her on the ground. The other hand, just. <laughs> He's gonna run uh, the key with points advantage, before I do because, because she's restrained. Uh, this is my last level. key point. Yeah, yeah but so I'll just wail on you. With advantage time. because she's restrained. First one is a twenty-one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, six points bludgeoning damage. Down okay. in the. <laughs> uh, second one. As opposed one, to a stand and bang. Natural twenty. Yikes. Uh, three, six, nine points of bludgeoning damage. Owie, I'm definitely bloody now. By the way. Okay. okay. It is I your go. turn. You're up. Um. So, but I I can't just get up because I'm restrained. You can You're break holding the, me on the yes, ground. Yes, this is you can break attempt to break the grapple, but then I don't think you can flurry of blows or no, I can't flurry of blows, but I could patient defense afterward. Yes, um, you can break the grapple and then yep. get up. Yep. So I'm gonna try and do that then to break okay. the grapple. Uh, oh, my do you have no! by being restrained. I rolled single digits. Uh -oh. No. Not helpful. Uh, roll shit. Roll shit. Roll shit. <laughs> I have a high modifier, roll like shit. I'm just checking to see if it affects your, like, this, like your fucking rolls. It might, it uh, might affect saving throws, but not, no, I don't think it affects It doesn't. Checks. It only affects dexterity saving throws and it rolled attack like rolls. Rolled like doo doo. Yeah, this is a dexterity check, technically, right? So. Yes. Yeah. Which is fine. Uh, that's cocked. It wasn't an 11, but it's cocked. Oh. Uh, that's a natural 10, so. Plus uh, something, so yeah, okay. 15. Okay, well then, I'm still gonna use a key point to take patient defense. I guess how that works is I just, I can roll really quickly out of the way if, if you miss. Like, I, okay. don't, I don't know, but I'm doing yeah, it. So, uh, so make attack rolls, straight rolls instead of a just straight rolls, yeah. yeah. No, because I've got advantage. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. So, so then uh, I spend a key point uh, for this action for patient defense. Okay. First attack. Uh, 16. Just hits. That's my armor oh, class. Same AC, spicy. Yeah. Uh, low roll, four points of damage. Good. <laughs> uh, bonus action attack. Also uh, a straight roll. Also 16. Yeah, <gasps> I did straight roll. Why am I rolling so bad this uh, way? I, they're 11s. Like, they're not great rolls. Uh, five but points I'm rolling even damage. worse. <laughs> okay, You're rolling I'm... shit to hit. I'm rolling shit damage. I know, but that's good because I'm already almost done. All right. Um, oh, I'm going to try and break the restraint one more time. Okay. Try and get out because... Oh, no. That's a natural uh, one. That's no, a natural 16. No. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so right. sorry. I'm... Out of desperation, <laughs> that's why I'm stuck there. I'm just going to then, from the ground, do like a, eh, ugh, like two kicks up and spend my last key point for a flurry of blows. I'll okay. also see if Calm. maybe it's enough to kick him off. I don't know if you can. What do you it's mean? It's not an attack section to try and break the grapple. I It's flurry of blows, key point. I don't have to do... Yeah, you do. It has to be an attack. It just doesn't have to be a melee attack. Like. Oh. Gross. Yeah. There's a reason <laughs> Brooks didn't do this on anyone else. Hmm. I didn't want to give the game away. I'm so sorry. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I guess I just have I, to I use it. I guess I just have to use it for patient defense again, just to try yeah. and hope then. Yeah. yeah I'm so All sorry. Right. Actually, I, we should check this. Is it an attack to gri break grapple? I doubt it. I don't see how it could be. I don't um, think it would be because when, isn't grappling an attack action? So breaking it would be grappling is an attack action. I don't know if it's an attack I action to try and break I, I, it. Because breaking it seems like a defensive action. action. Yeah, it's it's not, not like an I, attack. I would not class it as an attack action. And I I do, do, agree do, do, with do, 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 that because that's a defensive. You can use something. your action to escape. Yeah, it's not a attack. I'm and so I'm not sorry. gonna go back like, and be like, "Can I change then? And can I attack?" That's my bad. I should know my own abilities. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. No, because it's so, it's a really niche, weird rules thing it's fine. that I've I'll been just, planning for Brooks for a while and did last fine. fight. I'll just spend it for a patient defense and hope that somehow I can wiggle around because I'm probably gone in another hit. Otherwise. This is this is really. I feel bad. Right, uh, first attack. I mean, if I could no, use I all six of my arms, you I rolled with advantage. It was a 15, 17, trouble. but I don't get advantage, so I'm just going to roll again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a straight roll because of patient yeah. defense. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a 16. Damn it! Just hits! Stop well, it was naturally 15 and 17, so... Stop doing that! Uh, that's five points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Bonus action. I dropped that, and it was a 20, but I'm not going to take it because I didn't roll it properly. 
Uh, that's a 50. Yeah, get up real quick. Dude, my stomach is it. fucking killing me. Something's not that's right, fine, so fine. I'll just keep going among yourselves. But like, okay. I need to uh, get, get some water or something, dude. Fuck. <laughs> Look, she's about to puke from how uh -oh. disgusting this tactic is. Yeah, okay. He's, he's so angry. Is that your is that your turn? Yes. So it would be you. Okay. See, I'm torn because like I have to break out of this cuz only cuz you're going to get advantage cuz I'm out of key points, but I also I think I have but to it... do that because there's no way I can get you in one turn. I haven't done enough damage to do enough especially without a furry blow. So I, I have to I'm not I bloody. have to try it. Yeah, exactly. I have to try and break out again even though it's not what I want to do. It's a shitty move. Oh, I used it on the nose. It's 20 this time, though. Hey! Ooh, so what's, the, what's the max? The max is what's 24. What's your total? 24. What's your total? 24? It's, it's plus... No, wait. 26. Because it's acrobatics I'm using. Okay. Uh, I have to nat 20 this. Ha 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 ha. That's Don't you, dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. That's uh, 11. Okay, good. I finally... So break out the grapple. My desperation, as you see, I'm looking real. Like, you basically, you can see, it's not so much, like, bloody a little bit, but, like, my eyes are kind of, you can see them, like, the pupils weaving, like, dilating in and out. Like, I'm, oh, I'm woozy. Uh, wiggle out and uh, go, but then I don't get to attack you because. No. no. But, again, I can't want to leave your melee range because I can't. At least now it's a straight roll. So I just wiggle out. And get back up into like a defensive stance, and I'm trying. I'm just taking the moment to steady myself because getting up really fast with all the hits. I'm just like, whoa, no, eyes blurry, and I just. So yeah, that's my whole turn. I don't have any bonus actions that I want to do right How now. How rough is Dagon right now? Like, breathe on me. And I have one hit point. <laughs> oh. oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Um... So, so, so I was like, I have to get out of the grapple because if you have advantage on, I'm I'm done. I'm fucked. <laughs> So I, I have to bank on you missing now for me to still be in this. Or, like, again, if it wasn't cheating, but I don't want to be accused of winning by cheating, plus it might break the rules if I bamfed out my arms. No, I can't. It costs a key point. I can't bamf out my arms anyway, so. It would Never definitely mind. be cheating. Yeah, yeah I figured. Yeah. Because it's still, I'm not, it's magic. still, like, bare arms. I'm not, there's no yeah. weapon in the head. No. It's yeah, still it's magic. It's still magic, magic, you know? Like, it's well, well technically magic. it's not magic, yeah, either. Monk, monk he, key points he, is not magic. Do you really think commoners are yeah. going to distinguish between Yeah, I was just going to say, a, a fucking a, a ship's hold full of pirates is going to be like, No, it's I not know. magic, it's, it's... Hey, I we're not on a ship. It's not magic, it's science. Well, that's why I'm not doing it. I'm just saying, technically, it's not magic. It's some weird channeling inner chi astral projection actually if not... we all channeled our inner chi we could also do that so it's not magic right. so I wonder if I could channel a peg leg so I'm up I'm on my feet I'm like wobbling a bit she but I'm up and on my other, feet other grapples. Nice. Nice, but nice, Dutch nice. I have one hit point left so I had to break out because if he hits me I'm fucked this is it <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Mr. DM would it be really obvious to me that Dagon's like Fucked, fucked, or really just like shit bloody? And, yeah, you've yeah. never really seen me like sway on my feet before, other than when you see me go unconscious. But usually that's for yeah, like stab or some shit, you know. Yeah. So. I mean, use your Brooks, also okay. Healthy. To my my logic in this is that Brooks isn't raging. <clears throat> Dagon, do you want to tap out or do you want to do this? I'll go ahead and tap. And hold out a hand for a handshake. I will shake Dagon's hand. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner of the first. If I had more than one hit point, scrapyard of Eldilon. Everybody, give it up for Brooks. Fuck! I'm down fifteen gold. <laughs> yeah, you're fucked, idiot. I did tell y'all not to bet on me from the start of this, uh, but I, for different reasons. Do you know what? I, did say it. I genuinely like that last fight. The prize pool gets divided among first and second place. So, Tygen, even though you lost, don't worry. There is a bit of money to uh, ease the, uh, the hurt from losing. You know, the money cannot fix your pride, but at least it makes it a little easier to deal with. Brooks, as a winner in first place, approach the stand and I shall hand you your prize. I, I, I approach, still kind of. A little wobbly sometimes. I'll, I'll I'll offer an arm if Dagon wants it to support I, her. I'm so, it's not so much I, I wobbly for a second, and then you just see there's a lot more tail movement than normal. I'm using my tail to kind of stabilize myself a bit more than normal. Normally, <laughs> it's much more I'll humanoid. Still hold, like I'll still it's hold not the really arm needed, out. But <laughs> Kes is, Kes is already rushing over to like kind of like stabilize you on the other side. <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll, I'll hold the arm I'll, out. I'll, if you I'll let Kes, but I, I, if you offer like Brooks, I won't take. Not in a like eh, like I'm mad, but I'll just like. 
wave okay. it off and just walk myself. As you approach, I will walk uh, out. The stand, the dragonborn pops off, hands you a coin purse with uh, 15 platinum. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Dragon, second place. Here is your prize. And you get handed a, a purse with five platinum. Nice. Thank you so much for uh, participating. Congratulations, and uh, perhaps see you next year. Who knows? It depends. Uh, we don't know when we'll be <laughs> back here again. Um, feel free to stay for some drinks, but I do entice you to uh, get the fuck out of here sooner rather than later. Uh, get to the muddy boat or uh, any other tavern in town. Don't tell me twice. Fuck we've it got, out. Uh, we've got some cleaning to do. <laughs> right. So, uh, giant boat, carafe. We've got money. We've got money to spend. I just signed Thank a cast. I want. Yeah, I signed a cast. I want mm. a nap. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go back to the giant? I I don't. Again, signing. I I don't care. I just want a nap. <laughs> Dagon doesn't care where she goes. She just needs a nap. And you know, you ever seen a cat like when they're and they're like looking at you, but they they can't really keep their eyes open and their eyes just keep closing. <laughs> but the cat's like, I'm not sleepy because they want to pay attention to you. That's. Uh, what has the Lazarin done in the meantime? Well, I was just What has the Lazarin done? Yeah. <laughs> He's polished his holy He's gone on his a, holy a, a bender. <laughs> no, an absolute no bender so literally, a Lazarin would have Cocaine waited smears. in the uh, friendly giant for about 10 15 minutes and then fucking just left. Is that all? <laughs> wait, really? Basically, wait for them to go. Um, wouldn't have done much. He would have. Um, Taking a quick little tour to the to the temple and see Father Ackle. Mm -hmm. um, just catch up, really. Nothing like that, really major. Um, before he left the Friendly Giant, he would have written a letter um, say, to the pie, basically, um, saying... Goodbye uh, forever. No, no, no. Yeah. Just, 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 just saying, um, gone out for a walk. Um, we'll probably end up at the carafe if you need me. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, I love that letter. Yeah, if you I mean, need me, see you tomorrow. So you're, so you're just getting <laughs> fucked. Uh, no, um, not getting fucked. I'm going to go to the craft. Uh, not getting fucked up. Just having like a uh, a, a sit tasting. down. No, not. I was going to have like a glass of wine. It'll take him for ages. I want to look at that book. Okay. And like you said, like is it completely like nothing is legible pretty from much. it, or it's, it's pretty much illegible. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, just kind of look at it and inspect like the the gems on it and just see how it's nicely made. And give himself ideas of, oh, I can make books like this. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it's quite, it's, they say it's quite late at night. The, like, the post place would be open, would it? Like, mailing services would be, like, closed. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he would just have a really sort of relaxed night, not, not really oh, do anything. Yeah. Not, he would just walk around Adlon, enjoy the sights. A chill kind night of, free of shenanigans. If you kind say, of, gonna, like. Are you going to have, like, have a bite to eat at the carafe as well? Or? Yeah. Yeah, he basically he will. He's kind of showing that he's in the city to people who are passing by, and just kind of make him like a little small presence to people, and then going into the graph and then just having a nice relax. Even nothing too major, nothing thing. Not really looking out, just kind of finally nice to relax and just contemplating. Fair enough. I think for Elazarin, he's just glad to not you, have it. You spend about like few gold on some food and then a couple drinks or whatever so like six seven gold if i'll you... just say i spent a platinum and be done with it fair enough fair enough. Up. okay the rest of you uh, as you kind of go to leave the ship uh Siren quickly catches up uh, is it all right if i join you of yeah, course sure yeah where are you guys headed i think we're we are, are we i think Dagon's, Dagon, do you want to come out drinking, or are you done for the night? I just I guess. I mean, I'll go, but I'll probably just fall asleep in the chair mm -hmm. while y'all. I think you do could whatever. Probably, I think you could probably do with a, a bed. Yeah, I think I could as well, to be honest. Right, Jax so has your port, by the way, or whatever that was. Fuck! You had to tell him. Yes. <laughs> Does that is that in character? Yes. Oh wait, so is it Jax? I don't know. No. <laughs> okay. I'll just look at Jax and be like, "You're welcome to try it, but 
you probably won't like it. It will, however, make a really good cleaning solution for anything metal you work on. I just didn't want Cass getting shit faced while we were on our boat. I was not going to. It's dual purpose. I'll swig it. <laughs> it's strong, man. <laughs> like, this is one of his very early, like, brewing, like, can I make something strong even stronger without killing the flavor? And the answer is no. No. Uh, it's special. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's something that your cousin And I'll just hand it uh, back. I still Custom can't feel my tongue. People have his when they <laughs> don't like anything at all. They just give it so nicknames like special or something instead of just saying it's oh, yeah. Yes, it's like when I say, oh, Davian's such a interesting person. That's yeah, cool. thanks. I'll, He's uh, very I'll, interesting. I'll just... It, mm, no. I'll, I'll pull my bag out and I will... I'll offer my my actual port to Jackson instead. That I won't take. I'll start swinging port as we walk. <laughs> That's where you guys headed. I, mean, uh, I guess we'll go back to the giant, giant, I think. Yeah. Giant, yeah. And see oh, how flying. fucked everyone oh, else is. Kez is fine. She's just like vibing. Brooks, Brooks is ready for a night out. <laughs> but we've got to drop the old people off. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you okay, head dude. to the friendly giant. Um, get, get approached by one of the workers there and handed the letter that uh, Lazarin left you, saying that he's in a carafe. Yeah. And he'll see you he tomorrow. Is. What a pompous prick. Mm. <laughs> uh, and oh, shall I suppose we you have say... any intention on uh, splitting those winnings? Brooks maybe get us all a night at the carafe. I feel like if. Lazarin chose to not be here when you all got <gasps> back. Oh, I'll make you deal. It's probably Shattered. because he needs a night to himself. I'm Siren, not, uh, firstly, not interested Siren's in bothering right. him, but I'd like to sleep at the garage. No, no, no. Firstly, Siren's right. And secondly, I don't know if I'm going to be sober enough to appreciate a night at the carafe later, so... I don't think you're going to be sober enough at the carafe to appreciate a night of you. <laughs> True. <laughs> tomorrow night. We'll go to the craft. Kes, can I have my cloak, please? Yes, yeah. I will Kes, give can I have my jacket, cloak. please? No. I'm, <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Uh, go and try and ask for a room. And at the just, like, point upstairs to the rooms. And then just, like, I mean, take you, out you, my coin purse. You already, like, told... Uh, I'm pretty sure that last oh, session true. you, like, discussed that you wanted rooms there. So, yeah. All right, uh, I'm just gonna go up to one of them then. And just, and like, just wave goodnight to the party and just go... <laughs> Catnap. Take out my meerkat plushie. Get comfy. <laughs> so why can't I'm... I have my jacket? It looks better on me. This look quite good. Thank you. I think so. She's not wrong. I, I think it suits better. something more piracy, but it is still so... my jacket, though. Mm. What's what's next for you guys? Well, that depends. My jacket back. <laughs> no. I do have something that we could do, but I think we might also do Davian's thing. Wait, what we talk? What like like Mike we talk a big picture here? Yes. Just the next like I don't know, few weeks. Yeah, hopefully go up north and uh, deal with some Triton. Find whoever pays us the most to hit things. Go into the lake. Yeah, or like in this case. Udina. When, you, when, you, when, when do you set off? Um. Well, we've got all the information we need, but if people have still got business to finish, probably day after tomorrow or something. Well, we, 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 we're getting maps made, and that'll take at least another couple of days. So. Well, um, I'm actually supposed to travel back uh, home for uh, Father Ackle. Um, so I'm heading up through the jungle, so wouldn't mind tag along. And plus, yeah, my people have some connections with the Triton of that lake, and potentially oh. they could provide you with some mm. valuable information. That would be very yeah, helpful. That, yeah, that sounds incredibly helpful. Not only to have you tag along in the jungle to 
you know, get mm -hmm. us through without dying, but also... Uh, do, do we know how long the jungle tri trip will take? It is. Yeah, it took us... I, I mean, we'll be going from here to... We're going from here to New New Darm Darmouth. Do we go beyond? Is there another? There's another town that there's, I'm forgetting, uh, but I can't remember. Yeah, there is. A, hold on. Hold on. Let me find my map. Logically, if you go by road, you get to Southwold, oh. then you get to New Darmouth, and then you get to Sethgar, where Siren lives, and then. I was thinking Southwold. That was like yeah, there's three days to Sethgar, right? Uh, it's like a day to Southwold. It's like two days to New Darmouth, and then it's like another day, day and a half to Sethgar, and then it's like another. Yeah, hopefully. Oh no, Siren it'll be like be five, six days sure. travel total to get to the lake proper. Okay. So we need to buy some more jungle remedy. Uh, yes. I don't know. I've still got enough for a few days. I've still got enough for. I've only got yeah, two. I, think I only have enough for one or two. Yeah, I know that, me too. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, no, I'm down to two. As part of the travel agree the, the agreements between my people and, and Eldilon, um, we have access to uh, better ways of, of dealing with the jungle. Um, but because of um, the idea of, of making travel between Sethka and here a little more doable, uh, the temple did start working on creating large amounts of, of jungle remedies, so it might be worth... I, I could probably get you enough for a trip there and back for very cheap. Well, maybe if we convince them that we are, uh, you know, necessary as your escort, we might get them for free. Maybe. Michael is a bit of a cheapskate. Oh, is he another? He's one of those Joaquin ones, isn't he? Of course he is. He's not, but might as well be. No. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I love has the, the, the I love the stereotype. I don't have. Diplomatic immunity, but oh. um, well, it's been all right. The past few weeks, I've just learned mainly, and now I only get to do something, and that something is travel back home and tell your people about us. So it's not very interesting, but it's a start. When it comes to, we've been thinking about group names. Uh, with Kess's obsession with diplomatic immunity, I really think we might as well just go with the diplomats. I mean, I... someone's <laughs> bound to buy it at some point and grant us some kind of immunity. Very actually, much. Dude, like, I, I, I fuck with that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually I've never really been a fan honestly. of diplomacy. Yeah, neither have I. That's why I think it's funny because that's bureaucrats that is why it's funny. diplomacy. <laughs> We I deal in a special be... brand of diplomacy that you involves can vote for the yeah. right hooker or the left. <laughs> right. This is diplomacy, this is bureaucracy. <laughs> <laughs> this This is the system. <laughs> so if you if two days you said day after tomorrow you said you'll be leaving? Yeah, I think so. Make sure to be ready and don't mind having me tag along again. I mean, if anything, it would be advantageous because you know the jungle better than any of us here. So it's true. It's true. Be more than happy to have you. Right. Don't keep a last room for Not to mention, so. obviously, you're wonderful company, and you know, obviously, a friend at this point. So. Good. Okay, we are friends. Okay. Scrunch your group. fucking face, or I'll scrunch Ooh. it for you. Last <sighs> rat, big man. Yeah, you really want to go there? It'll be. It will just, like just have the shit beaten out of me by a cat. This time, I probably. Won't have Same. a saber toothed tiger leaning over me as he's about to. Mm. We should hope not. Crush me with that his dead be... corpse. That would suck. I guess the the trick there is don't kill them when they're gonna land on you. Mm. Well, it was either that or get my head bitten off. If we hadn't come along, the second option would have been a much slower, painful death. So. It's true. But you did come along. Right. I'm going to bed. You guys have a nice night. I've got to go make maps in the morning. Night, Davian. Good night, Davian. Sleep well. Bon nuit, as they say, somewhere. Probably wherever Sai Sunken comes kingdoms. from. Sunken kingdoms. <laughs> sounds like you're drowning. <laughs> right, so we lose a Daigon here and we lose a Davian. Uh, Nelasm is not there. The rest of you guys just going to just have some drinks, spend some time together. Yep. Good try. And then eventually also... I'll try and convince uh, Kess to give me my jacket back. Yes, sir. 
Alrighty. Yeah. Then I suggest that we. Is, uh... Wait, is uh, is pleasure around when I head to bed? Yeah. No. I'll take pleasure to bed. Hey, hey. <laughs> three of the party have had pleasure. <laughs> pleasure has had a lot of And pleasure. now three of the party have got Rusty Cutlass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the we name got, of the episode. Brooks right put it along to the uh, to the continent, actually. It was about to say it was Brooks the originator. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have a name back then. But, um, Patient zero. We'll, uh, we'll end it here and we'll pick this up next week. So, what are you here next week? I am... Uh... Woo! Yeah. yeah. But like actually this time? Yeah. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Just making sure. Check. Uh, for the first half as well? It's crazy. No, uh, Soko. You got <laughs> your deafen. You got your deafen moment. You did I did get my deafen yeah. finally. It's, it's just me upset. now. That's when I thought you weren't going to be here because I had all the dishes yeah. and I was like, fuck. So <laughs> beard is a piece of shit. It's just me now, huh? Soko, are you around on Thursday so you can be on Discord? Ooh. Since you had a deafen moment. I actually think I have Thursday off. <gasps> oh, spicy. With I mean, I haven't been on in a while. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And plus, you had like a little death moment that we can kind of like explore. True, which only Kess sort of knows about. True. Um. So, as far as well, wait. You that after the fact that Kess did bring up right in my face that we were going to be pirates or something along those lines. So, but if then that we was just played all yeah, yeah, that could have been anything. Dress could like have a pirate. Dress like, like that could have yeah. just been like a weird sex thing. Uh, that <laughs> could have been an ambition. Duke. Could have just you been a lie. Yes. Kess was telling. She tells a lot huh? of those. You busy on Thursday? No. Want to be on Discourse? Am I ever? Yeah, fuck it. All right, Come so on, this Soko. Thursday we'll have... Uh, Hell yeah. ...in Discourse. Beautiful. Uh, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Appreciate it. Sorry that I had to like dip out for the glass. My, my stomach started acting up like an hour ago. And it's That's been fine. Fucking right. good, bro. He's allergic to our bullshit. Hopefully That's see you all next week. <laughs> um, as far as Divinity goes tomorrow, that's a bit of a, a question mark because... Same. Frankly. Uh, I have internship on Tuesday this week instead of Wednesday, so that means that I have a six o'clock alarm, so the hard cutoff will be 11 and we start at nine, and I feel like Divinity for two hours is kind of like, eh, might as well not do it then. You know what I mean? Uh, sure. Like, uh, has work to do as well. Yeah, I, uh, I always so, uh, do. We'll do Divinity tomorrow, so we'll be back on Thursday for Discourse, and then next Sunday for more DS. Thanks for watching, everybody. Is uh, Dicely live? Are they, are yes, they are. Oh, they yeah, they are. Live? Yeah, they were yeah. live 30 minutes ago. Yo, Denny the boy. So we'll uh, we'll show some love to, to uh, play Dicely, the to best be campaign them. on Twitch besides Dungeon Select, of course. Uh, they're also in their twentieth session. Right. Fun, fun. They are. Oh, yeah. so Keep we're gonna pace. Uh, hmm? slash raid. Dicely. Oh boy, I typed that. Oh boy. Boom. Spam those Dungeon Select emotes if you have them. Tell them. Tell them that we we sent you. And uh, we'll be here again on Thursday. Mm -hmm. fucking beautiful. I'll show up halfway through. Don't worry. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Take care. Bye. Wash your hair. I don't see the bye. raid thing on Twitch. What the fuck? Twitch? Yeah, fuck. It's there. I do. It's there, right? Yeah, I'm gonna say. yeah it's there. It's just Laura. Twitch hates Rude. you. It's fine. Rude. We'll leave Laura behind. <laughs> <laughs>